It's an all top movie. It's an all top movement. BCL, Bry County Finest. That's your boy, Penity the Great. I mean, we murdering shit. Anything that you put on and we on, it's a wrap. Fresh on the scene, box so clean. Penalty the great man, I'm bringing out a team. Got a whole bunch of money, that's all I see. Four niggas be hating, keep the Glock on me. I wear the nigga up, leave me staking in the project. Who's on deck? Money, no object. I love my hood, show love to the homies. If the niggas don't like it, then I know they're being funny. I'm real to the end, never been a fuck nigga. If I thought you was fake, then I stop fucking with you. Five, six, one to the 305. 954, bitch, you know we live. Been gone for a minute, but I'm back in my vibe. Cramp ass niggas done blew my eyes. Since a nigga got paid, now they wanna come around, but I Y'all just a bunch of clowns I'm on my shit, I'm doing my thing Niggas getting money, now the haters done came Fresh to the T, I ain't never gonna change Shit, I'm on fire, you can't out my flame You bitch, I'm hot, bitch, I'm hot Bitch, I'm hot, I'm tearing up that spot Bitch, I'm hot, bitch, I'm hot Bitch, I'm hot, I'm tearing up that spot Got a buzz in the hood, so I know I'm straight I put it on my son, I ain't never been fake Fresh to the T, I ain't never gonna change Shit, I'm on fire, you can't out my flame You bitch, I'm hot, bitch, I'm hot Bitch, I'm hot, I'm tearing up that spot Bitch, I'm hot Trap shit. I tell him no, nah, homie. I'm on that G shit. I'm killing these niggas, and I don't need a cheat code. I'm killing these niggas, and I don't need a cheat code. I'm killing these niggas, and I don't need a cheat code. They ask me how I do it. I do that shit and beat. I'm with them young niggas, them yeah. dumb niggas that yeah. we smoking. They long niggas. We killing all of these bum niggas. Pocket watching that fuck niggas. G shit, we run this. Make them seasick when that gun spit. Salute me, pussy boy. I don't talk about what you heard, bitch. Police ass niggas. Always trying to observe shit. Walking around malice like, nigga, you really deserve clips. I'm swerving out in that shabby. Like, fuck the law. I can't fuck with y'all. Y'all niggas flow. Got caught with bricks. Y'all out tomorrow. Somebody barking. Hold up. I do this for them thug niggas, niggas. Them trick daddies, them don't riders, them bug niggas. niggas Third time fellas, life was not giving a fuck nigga Call niggas. me what you want, but don't ever call me a fuck nigga yeah. That's that motherfucking bird Call put 50 racks in that duffel bag And watch all of them birds flock I've been that nigga, yeah. I'm still that nigga yeah. You still that nigga, that yeah. squill on niggas yeah. We kill them niggas, yeah. can't feel you nigga yeah. All I hear is pin you ill my nigga I'm killing these niggas yeah. And I don't need a cheat code I'm killing these niggas yeah. And I don't need a cheat code I'm killing these niggas yeah. And I don't need a cheat code They ask me how I do it I do that shit in beast mode yeah. I'm killing these niggas yeah. And I don't need I'm killing these niggas yeah. And I don't need a cheat code I'm killing these niggas yeah. And I don't need a cheat code They at me how I do it I do that shit in peace Let go. Yo, I shine the hardest yep. I rhyme the hardest yep. You niggas weak And that's word to big Y'all call them artists I call them garbage Name one nigga who fucking with me I'm dope as hell My flow is hell Take him to school Show and tell Breaking the rules No expel In Microsoft office No excel Spin that dude like Devin California Kush is what you smelling Smoking like hell Trying to get there in a barrel of an AK-47 I'm so hood like pain on the hood And I don't talk to him if it ain't about cash You can be the nigga that open the door Or the one who's signing the check They telling me I got next I got racks You got what? A couple hundred Twitter fans on your nuts Silly ass nigga, I don't give a fuck I got a couple mil all across the world Bitch, I'm international Call me GA Cause I'm all about my capital Car so high Got them checking out my altitude My attitude Looking at you hating ass niggas I'm just gonna laugh at you Shit, Cause I'm killing them. I'm killing these niggas. Yeah. And I don't need a cheat code. I'm killing these niggas. Yeah. And I don't need a cheat code. I'm killing these niggas. Yeah. And I don't need a cheat code. They ask me how I do it. I do that shit in beast mode. Yeah. I'm killing these niggas. Yeah. And I don't need a cheat code. I'm killing these niggas. Yeah. And I don't need a cheat code. I'm killing these niggas. Yeah. And I don't need a cheat code. They ask me how I do it. I do that shit in beast mode. Let go.
to go in. I've been a real nigga, you just late to the party, huh? Bike life, full chains on a brand new Harley, huh? New Glock for the haters on my dick again. Baby, sir, boy, they say you're not. Inside of a blast, but with my paper, I'm grabbing that yapper. Pull up on a nigga, watch me empty the mat. This ain't no studio shit. This on some pull out your heart on some Julio shit. When you was at work, I was working your bitch. So if you ain't her pussy, you lift in my dick. Man, I'm grinding like the clips, just reunited. Mess with my title, the bullet show up uninvited. They sing a cappella to empty the clip. Lee, you singing high notes like you with me and shit. We taking over shit, we taking over OTB on the track, nigga Hundred million dollars on my mind, I need cash, nigga Better yet. 
that, I'll get your bitch to suck me And then come on her lips and call it lip balm Wait in your crib and watch you get your kiss on I'm a rap giant, better yet, I'm a rap titan You resemble the cowardly lion Six foot, seven foot, nah, I'm six foot three But my dick is like a ten foot tree Nah, let me stop before my ten inch shrink Now that would be some shit like when assholes speak Now listen to the faggots screaming no homo Reminding me that they are so homo This is just a demo, solely for the promo Unlike I ass, I don't mind being solo That just means I'm the only star in the photo I go artistic on the track, ain't no cure for my disease So I suffocate the hoe and then I let the bitch breathe You ain't no competition, well at least not for me I had to cut the loose end so I could finally be free Now fuck the life you live with an empty bottle of KY Career haters hate, I just wait and wait, bye bye Money all I think about cause it's the life I dreamed of Possibly the greatest most hated rapper they dreamed of I can only be one person who the fuck you think I am Build the greatest team the world has seen just call me renaissance man In the short glance I am that man that all these rappers wanna be Left in the trench you will not pass you have to pay a toll fee Battle me let's get it poppin' I will do it toll free But thinking I will get on wax no that is so separately Beeping what you want I got that USB a prime choice Listen to the mind of a mind before you find the voice Of course the course you ride on it Get you anywhere but anywhere And I know this ain't fair But life ain't fair Just take a number Yeah, get in line And get left behind Cause we on our way To the print house Been grinding hard From the very start Now tell me what you niggas about Cash on dip and cash And chase that I ain't never seen before One, comma, zero, zero, zero Comma, zero, zero I'm a fucking millionaire A genius with the ink pen I never get writer's block I stop them again again Many men want me to fail But I cannot I'm fail safe I fall back Then rise again Now niggas looking pale face A ghost, a ghost They seen a ghost Now they see me ripping shit That's why they looking stupid like Rick I ain't fuck with Taylor Slip approach me with whatever You can never be a threat to this A well or machine We don't need a major label no. I can make a song where I ain't talking about And they will eat it up and swear I'm talking about But who the fuck are they? Nobody Trust me Just a bunch of critics trying to find a way to learn me I'm Having fun, it ain't no need for me to try. Why? I can make a million selling lyrics. Ghost, right? Tell me what the lick me. You know they can't handle it. Shit, I got the blueprint. Let me email you the transcripts. Females is a damn trip. My Gmail is a fan hit like Ezel with Smokey. I can't even take a damn shit without these motherfuckers interrupting what I'm working on. And I don't need a feature for a heater. I'm like Arizona hot all the time. I pay grease with every line. Shit, I'm just getting started and can see the finish line. And I don't need your label because I'm already Create a fuck a bank, I keep my money in the mattress Ada, moving through the faders I'm the ghost in a machine I'm addictive like the cereal, baby Mix and make it lean Even though you wanna hate me Just say it, you can't Cause I am so illy, really Who could fathom that? Uh, I can make a song where I ain't talking about And they will eat it up and swear I'm talking about But who the fuck are they? Nobody Trust me Just a bunch of critics trying to find a way to learn me I'm confidential I'm confidential I'm Shit, so what is life without me? Hmm, nothing. Fans across the globe, they all love me. The girl you caking up is who I'm currently fucking. You begging for the pussy when my cock is what she's sucking. Oh, she your main bitch? I don't care. Trust me, you can have a back when I'm finished. You numb nut, cause I can have another who ain't dealing with a jump fuck. Chucking up the deuces, gunning down the freeway. Khaled on the tools, all top getting replay. Replay, replay, yeah, replay. Hottest in the city, even did it wanna sign me. Model chick beside me. Take a pick, cause it lasts longer. Extends it. I can make a song where I ain't talking about nothing. And they will eat it up and swear I'm talking about something. But who the fuck are they? Nobody. Trust me. Just a bunch of critics trying to find a way to learn me. I'm confidential. I'm confidential. I'm confidential. So confidential. I'm confidential. I'm confidential. I'm confidential. So
Oh yeah. Welcome to the high life, baby. We ain't in the hood no more. DJ Payne. <laughs> All I want is some Maybach keys Having rich nigga dreams I don't wanna wake up if I ain't Living like a millionaire Living like a millionaire Yeah Pulling up to the mansion Living in the Hamptons I don't wanna wake up if I ain't Living like a millionaire Living like a millionaire Yeah Exotic cars full of bras with no papers Big houses, I own a couple acres A hundred thousand to get to a couple favors I got street dreams of swimming in green paper The feds watching, I watch them running in circles Getting blunted in the Maybach, pulling back the curtains Young dude from the ghetto ready to murk them Praying to lead the streets, but the streets what birthed them Now I got dreams of shitting in gold toilets Kicking it with the president, sipping on something poison Even the food is foreign, imported Ugali chef Unagi my favorite dish, only when properly prepped in and out the country, flying in private jets, meeting with billionaires who got millionaire stress. Warren Buffett on a ticket, I'm picking his brain. And after the interview, I was never the same. All I want is the Maybach keys, having rich nigga dreams. I don't wanna wake up if I ain't living like a millionaire. Living like a millionaire, yeah. Pulling up to the mansion, living in the Hamptons. I don't wanna wake up if I ain't living like a millionaire. Living like a millionaire, yeah. Chilling on the yacht, paying portraits with Basquiat. Dreaming about a fortress with Porsches filling a lot. Caviar by the jaw, sipping the finest wine. Fucking the baddest bitches, but really they not mine. Killing time on the beaches in New Guinea. Good food, pretty women. Hood dude, big city, I'm ready. No time like the present, nothing better than the future. Star player, power circle, the next move is crucial. Luxury linen, pillows filled with feathers. A bad fit for a king with a queen, leisurely tell it. Failure is not an option, I'm the picture of success. Big black nigga bang banging on my chest King Kong to these haters throwing shade for nothing I was never supposed to make it but I made it Hustling so when I rap about the good life I earned it Youngin' that's why everywhere I go I'm stuntin' Fuck nigga! 26 is on the Maybach Neck full of diamond white people getting mad Cause I got it all from rhyming. Never sold the brick but all my music is timeless I ain't need to have a gimmick to get shine I took mine I did it on my own Struggle to get here The vision of being great is greater than having fear yeah, and I told you it's my year. Speeding on the turnpike, haters is on the real life. Like. Still make back keys, having rich nigga dreams. I don't wanna wake up if I ain't living like a millionaire. Living like a millionaire. Yeah, pulling up to the mansion, living in the Hamptons. I don't wanna wake up if I ain't living like a millionaire. Relationship just make me sick I'm tired of waking up to your face and shit Just face it, this ain't meant to be Maybe you should pack up your stuff and leave The way I see it, you don't want my love Cause you want somebody who's gonna beat you up And I keep you up, trying to make you better But I don't want you to feel like you settle Never will a little bum bitch keep telling me I ain't good enough for her and keep yelling Cause I'm too good for you and I know it I don't need you to tell me I'm wanted I'ma do me, believe me, I'm focused Instead of a biz, you'll be driving the focus Notice, you ain't no Beyonce, no this You will be Erase from the world that you used to know I'm a fucking rap star, you a groupie hoe Keep it moving though, cause I'm through with you You tried out for the team, but you've been cut Cause you a knob and everybody get a turn Sayonara, my dear, I'm out like one
fact, I've been running these raps. Niggas on me like they're running the tab. I try to mellow it down. I want the money, you can have the crown. Your bitch bad, she can pass around. Pass the good, don't pass around. I'm in a nasty mood, man, I want my plate to go. I need some good sex in the backwood, in a quiet place to roll. They claim they're murders for hire. I'm dropping these verse like a cinema. I'm popping a perk, I'm the killing them. She called them a drug, she ain't feeling them. Major, major, major man, bitch. Hope you niggas overstand this. I'm top five of my rap list. This verse is just practice, you mad bitch. I'm sick as hell, I keep that iron low, call me sick as hell. Sipping on the finest wine, you niggas on that Ziffindale. Yellow tail, ain't no telling where you niggas came from. But the 48 special, leave you bloated like the tapeworm. Don't let them niggas gas you up to get your motor blown. You niggas big and full of shit, just like a motorhome. Like motor I'm about my cheese, you know that Gouda mixed with provolone. These niggas wildin', they don't know the stupid shit I'm on. Behind the keyboard, you niggas super soldier super strong. Soldier In strong. real life, I leave you pussy niggas comatose. He can't be serious, looking like a smoker though. 17 to the head, make him overdose. I keep that tool like a mechanic. Fuck this nigga on, I beat this nigga senseless with everything inside his home. Here we go, they got me back in my element, relevant like a thick bitch saying she's celibate, hell of it. Behind tens, rolling the medicine, heaven sent. Look at him, boy, he arrogant, arrogance, nah, this confidence. But I'm in the track like a saw, I've been lighting it, riding the beat like a bitch in an argument. You ain't gonna win, but you definitely started it. Niggas be talking, but they don't want none of this. Nice with their hands, so I pray that they come for this. Yeah. in the slum, so I'm ready for all of it. Yeah. Niggas is pussy, what else would you call it, bitch? Yeah. I'm doper than dopamine. Hopefully, holding a bunch of promethazine, leaving hey. them leaning, believing they really gonna fuck with me. I do not care for you niggas, you suck hey. me. Yes, and I'm hoping they focus, abracadabra, flipping up the barrel, magician missing action in the rap. Fuck it. <laughs> Y'all niggas can have the rest of that shit. Let's I'm go. done eating. Parental discretion is advised. There are some frustrations that I have to let loose. So, uh, let us begin. Since 2013, niggas told me to wait. Told me it'll be cool, sick, it'll be straight. Wait to eat three, feel goddess, I swear. He gonna turn it all around, next box will be great. Seven years later, still holding out hope. Folks praying to the gods cause they wanna see change. Looking out the window, watching all their hopes and dreams go huffing and puffing and bursting in flames. Patiently waiting, I waited for nothing. They canceled more games than they put in the oven. You cowards are sheep and you swear that you gamers. Praising this nigga for constantly fronting. Blaming Dabatro, but he was the realest. He told you the truth, but you got in your feelings. Now how do you feel when you look in the mirror? He sold you a dream like a couple of children who are we kidding you knew it was business this dude is a liar look at his eyes his crooked smile and his wicked vision gave you the x but had nothing to show bragging by power i flashed by the pro 4.2 was greater than six and that don't make sense you son of a bitch no one wants an xbox no it don't matter the services or t-flops no. you can keep that little game pass we good bruh we good, if you bro. ain't focused on games then what you good for nothing no one wants an Xbox. No. It don't matter the services or T flops. No. You can keep that little game pass. We good, bruh. Good, if you bro. ain't focused on games, then what you good for? Nothing, nigga. Uh, Xbox has more controllers than it got games. Xbox got a code for niggas who are insane. Xbox is the worst platform ever created. Xbox. It's the only console I have traded That's the truth, you probably think I hate it No, I hate the people that's behind the brand And the fans are nuts for not giving a fuck about Having a console without a stance They'd rather stand but will not demand That the people they pay provide better content The Series X is a lost cause, I would never buy it I'm just being honest, it's a waste of money Just like the X, blowing smoke with broken promises Big talk but no action With a moron as the head of marketing Team Green is a running joke PlayStation got Miles Morales with Aloy in the background now that's that's what I call having talent. No one wants an Xbox. No. It don't matter the services or T flops. No. You can keep that little game pass. We good, bruh. We good, if you bruh. ain't focused on games, then what you good for? Nothing, nigga. No one wants an Xbox. No. It don't matter the services or T flops. No. You can keep that little game pass. We good, bruh. We good, if you bruh. ain't focused on games, then what you good for? Look, do what you do. Xbox is the best box. Wise words from the best box. Phil Spencer convinced you niggas that.
PlayStation get next off. Y'all niggas been waiting a hot minute, like three dots on a text drop. Long time. Didn't they promise you gameplay? Not traders ran on a desktop. Y'all niggas don't know much though. Nope. The squad of King go cutthroat. Uh. Xbox niggas talk major shit. I'm looking at them like the fuck folk. Phil Spencer came through the back room. Left you niggas at the front door. Cut five games, made game pass. I told you niggas not to trust hoes. I've been there and I done those. Done shoot facts like a snub nose. Bah. Day one buying PlayStation. Hold it up like a gun pole. I'll expose all you fuck niggas. Fuck y'all. Getting used like a sex bot. PC beggars getting y'all exclusives. Ain't no reason to hit GameStop because no one wants an Xbox. No. It don't matter the services or T flops. No. You can keep that little game pass. We good, yeah. bro. If you ain't focused on games, then what you good for? Nothing, nigga. No one. Want an Xbox? No. It don't matter the services or T flops. No. You can keep that little game pass. We good, bruh. Yeah, if you bro. ain't focused on games, then what you good for? Nothing, nigga. Huh? I want diversity on your platform. Let's go. I don't give a fuck what type of impact you think this shit has. I don't care what kind of goddamn impact. Only thing I wanted to impact is my thoughts. That it's a badass motherfucker. That's the only thing I wanted to impact, you know? At the end of the day, invest in the the games. Let's go. That's all I got for y'all. OBJ the Dime, signing off.
go. All right, man. I only got one more for y'all. Good man. God Almighty. Like back in the old days. <sighs> You know, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started, man. We're gonna have to get caught up because how to play it. You know, apparently, the there's been a lot going on. But uh, we just went to the studio and we oh, did it. Shit. We had champagne in the studio, of course. Filter. You know, compliments shit, up way uh, too close. the company, and I we just laid back and did there it. There we go. So we hope you enjoy listening to this album half as much. <laughs> Misogynist, I'm not a fan of monogamy Bill Gates, I'm building a frat monopoly Honestly, I'm trying to be the greatest anatomically Incredible hope, crushing you niggas comically In preparation to defecate on the competition Spitting ether so lethal without the consequences I'm in the business of hurting these niggas' feelings Oh, you mad, bro? I'm sorry, your music is less appealing Off top is a movement conducive to making hits My homie slaughtered this beat, but I'ma finish this shit My lyrics are convoluted, complexity at its finest You niggas used to the rubies, but nigga, we full of diamonds Traveling to the moon with a pound of that blue dream Getting lit behind tents Making the tire scream on our way to Madison Square Performing for the masses Deep in your Xbox looking with smart glasses I spit slick the slick shit like Slick Rick You dip shit's ridiculous, I'm a misfit That's why I twit pick dick pics to thick chicks I call them entry level whores who need a quick fix The word play is worthy to be televised But why you telling lies? I'm selling pies In the kitchen with baking soda and devil eyes Bloodshot, the gun cock, the metal rise The bullet spray, the body fall all the soul leave a legacy of Cain I'm watching the soul breathe for dusting off the knees Hail Mary to the preacher, honey K to hear me slay Verses on any feature, pen First and foremost, I got to say, man, how y'all doing, man? How how are y'all doing this evening, man? <laughs> I got to say, man, I, I, I kind of miss y'all niggas, man. Just just a little bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Miss y'all niggas, man. Uh, but, man, I ain't going to lie, man. Fucking rebirth, dog. This, this one fucking challenge, dog, is just whooping my ass, dog. This shit is teaching me. And the thing is, right, like, I don't even, to be honest with you, bro, I should have beat this shit already. I've made it to Odin like 10 times, but I'd be so fucking nervous when I finally make it past that fucking Bahamut piece of shit that when I finally get to Odin, I'd be so nervous, i just start fucking up the strategy, dog. I should have beat this shit already, man. I'm, I'm I, Listen, man. Listen, man, this shit is stressing me out, bro. It's just it's stressing me out, man. It's fucking stressing me. Nah, but I, I, I fucking love the game, man. I ain't gonna even lie. Uh, early, I was about to go live so y'all can witness this bullshit, bro. Um, and, and seriously, seriously, Square Enix, real shit. Somebody at Square Enix, y'all gotta hear me. Don't, don't, don't do this shit for the next game. Please, please don't do this shit for the next game. Look, 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 look. The way you did it on the first game was perfectly fine. This bullshit, this is some absolute, utterly dumbass bullshit that I just, I'm offended at how much bullshit this is. I, I'm, I'm just going to be real with y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm offended. But what I do like, though, is that they make your ass learn. Nigga, if you don't learn, you're going to continue to fail. You're going to continue to fail. I remember I couldn't get past Alexander, bum ass dog. And, and Alexander is the bummest fucking boss I've ever seen in my fucking life. Dirty, nasty. The thing is, the only reason why I don't trip on Alexander too much is because the nigga can't move. The nigga cannot move. He sits in one fucking place. But the problem is, that nigga got AOE attacks that go every fucking where that you can imagine everywhere that you can imagine and then he will drop a smash with some fucking uh, i don't even know what these little orbs are that just fucking follow you and do mass amount of fucking damage bruh you know how many times i done made it to alexander and fuck see the the fucked up part about these battles 
if if we gonna be serious, is you can fuck up just about anywhere in the battle. And when you fuck up, sometimes you can't recover. Sometimes you can't recover. Like with this aggressive ass fucking dragon. Level four. Level round four. Aggressive ass fucking dragon. If you fuck up with him and you don't pressure him, you could throw the whole damn thing away and have to and have to wipe and do it all over again. This shit has taught me some motherfucking lessons, but I will not give up. I tell you, I will not give up. I will, I will get this fucking platinum. I don't care if I have to play this bitch a million fucking times. Because if I didn't actually enjoy the game, it would be something different, right? Like, I actually enjoy the hell out of Final Fantasy VII. So this, this don't really feel like a chore to me. I think it's some bullshit. I still think it's some bullshit. But it don't really feel like a chore to me. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I think that's the good thing about it. Um, It's been a while, man. It, it's been a while. You know what? I'm going to do something a little different. I'm, I'm going to do something a little bit different, man. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time around. Since I haven't been here for a minute, I'm going to get caught up with you niggas first. I want y'all to tell me, because I got a whole bunch of shit on the, on, on the objective list. But I want to know. What the fuck been going on? Because I ain't going to even lie to you. I really ain't been paying attention to a lot of video game news, man. I I'm not going to lie to you, man. This game has been that great that it has occupied my fucking life. Literally. <laughs> hey, it do. It do, Vic Kid. I ain't going to even lie, bro. That shit got me stressed the fuck out. And, and you know what's funny? I'm going to tell you what's even worse is when you look up a video of the fight and just see these niggas run straight through that bitch, dog. And I'm talking about, they beat that bitch in like 10 minutes. I'm like, nigga, the fuck? <laughs> no, <laughs> you know how many times? Hey, I'm gonna tell you what's even crazier, right? The first time I made it to Odin, cause it took a while for me to get to Odin because Bahamut is some bullshit. It, I, honestly, whoever designed Bahamut, dog, <sighs> Bahamut, and Alexander are two of the, the worst fucking summons in this fucking game. Not even Odin. I don't even think Odin is really that that tough. But you be so you be so wired when you finally make it that it kind of feels that way, right? But that that's not what it is. But Bahamut Dog. I don't know who decided to create this abomination. And you know what's crazy about all of this is that the summons in the actual game when you're using them are fucking dog. They are like raggedy as hell, dog. It's like it's like you see what they do to you when you in a battle, but then when you actually summon them motherfuckers, it's like, dog, what the fuck is this, bro? Y'all niggas ain't doing half the shit y'all was doing to me, nigga. I do not see Alexander spamming all type of shit so the motherfucking uh, uh, enemy can't fucking move, nigga. Dog, this motherfucker spammed so much shit on me. He had the floor moving. He he then put some shit on the floor, like little sparkles that fuck you up. And I'm just like, dog, what is this, bro? Like, what is this? Because none of these summons, when you summon them, operate the way they operate when they whooping on your ass. I mean, god damn it, man. Bahamut with some bullshit to deal with even in part one. <laughs> Yo, for real, dog. Uh, but the game, the game is awesome, man. Uh, the, the game is awesome. That, yeah. See, the problem is, is you're you're stuck with Cloud and Zach, which I thought, oh man, it's gonna be easy, nigga, cause Zach he kind of OP when you learn how to use that overcharge shit, that charge up shit. I was like, this shit finna be a breeze. And then I found out that Zach is the dumbest. The AI is so fucking stupid. The AI is so goddamn stupid. Dog, if you're not controlling Zach, he is guaranteed to fucking die or get close to death. This nigga jumps in front of shit. Like, I, I just, dog, it's just, God damn it, man. They want you to multitask so bad, bro. But I got it down to a science, bro. Like, for real, I could make it to, 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 to the ninth, to the ninth round easy. Bahamut? That shit be up in the air, dog. And and sometimes I'll do good, and then sometimes the run just be all fucked up, dog. Like I know when the run is just gonna be some bullshit, dog. Because like 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 my parry skills is cool, but it's not like some of these niggas out here, bro. Like 
some of that shit just be getting through, bro. And it, it, it's what a time. What a time. And then and then Bahamut does the spin shit that no matter if you parry it or, or block it or whatever, nigga, you still taking massive amounts of fucking damage. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. So I ain't gonna lie. That game has been stressing me the fuck out, bro. Like, it, it has really been doing a number on me. But I like a game that can actually get me to that point, bro. I haven't played a game that has really, truly challenged me like this. Like, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm on the last challenges, but some people won't ever make it there, dog. Some people will never make it to those last challenges. And not only that, some people won't make it through hard mode, bro. Hard dog. Look, man, I ain't even really come here to talk about Rebirth today, dog. But let me just take a few moments to say hard mode was some next level bullshit. <sighs> Bruh, there is no MP regeneration when you sit at the little bus stops. I think it only re it only gives you like half your HP or 30% of your HP, right? And what was the other bullet? There was another bullshit thing. Oh, you can't use any items. You can't use any items. I don't even know why that's a part of horror mode. I don't understand why that is a part of horror mode, bruh. I don't understand why they don't let you use items like this game was designed to just piss you the fuck off but truthfully it was designed for you to get good that's that, that's literally what i can say about this game this game was designed with get good in mind like no 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 remake was nothing like this remake was nothing dog remake was nothing like this remake was not nearly as hard as rebirth bro not by any stretch of the map as a matter of fact the hardest boss to me previously in remake was marlboro <laughs> yeah 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 and marlboro in this game is a fucking pushover he's a fucking pussy but in the other game yo that nigga fried me up dog but this game on hard mode, bruh, some of the some of the battles that they put you in is just ridiculous. It, it's ridiculous, bro. And 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 of all battles, the last maybe two battles between Genova, Life Clinger, and fucking Sephiroth, holy shit. Those battles. Holy fuck, bro. Dog. Bro, I thought I was never going to be hard mode, bro, because of Genova Life Clinger and fucking Well, actually Sephiroth was really he was actually pretty fucking easy. I I don't know why Genova Life Clinger that motherfucker was worse than Sephiroth to me. Like Sephiroth, I beat Sephiroth in in, in probably maybe I'm gonna say about 10 tries, I, I beat him. But that Genova Life Clinger, fuck me, dog. And they take you through like six transformations. Nigga, I'm like, come on, dog. What are we doing here, dog? I'm like, bro, what do you want me to do? And then, <laughs> and then, dog. <laughs> imagine making it to the last transformation where you only got a little bit of health remaining, right? And all of your. All of your MP gone. <laughs> all, all of your fucking MP gone. They put you in the last battle with some of the weirdest fucking characters. Nigga, I ended up with Kate Sith at the end, bro. I ended up with Kate Sith, Yuffie, and fucking Cloud, dog. I was like, bro, of all of the combinations you can give me, that is the most ridiculous combination of characters you could have ever decided to just put me with, dog. Cause Kate Sith is damn near useless. This motherfucker is, oh my God, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Kate Sith in certain scenarios is a good additional player. Never a primary. 
never, ever a fucking primary. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get lucky when you roll the dice. But then most of the times they give you some shit that, bro, you finna hit Genova with fire, nigga? Like, the fuck? <laughs> like, fuck out of here, bro. Ugh, Kate Sith is a demon in the right situations, bro. When you can use that fucking Moogle as a goddamn decoy, that's when Kate Sith is fucking useful. In every other goddamn battle, Kate Sith is a, oh, Kate Sith is like the worst, the worst fucking character to have. My God. <sighs> Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. But anyway, anyway, I I mean, I'm not going to get, like I said, I'm not going to get too into uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, man. If you haven't played it, if you haven't been playing it, something is wrong with you. That game is fucking fire. Probably, that, dog, that's the best game I've played in a very long time. In a very, very, very long time. I'm talking about name whatever PlayStation exclusive you want. That shit don't come close to, to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth for me, bro. Not God of War, not Horizon, none of that shit. I, I'm, I'm just being real with you, dog. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, that shit is next level. But I've always been a huge, huge Final Fantasy fan for a very, very long time. But I ain't gonna lie, these last two challenges, they are whooping, whooping. I almost just want to skip over it and play Sephiroth. But I, I'm telling you, dog. I have this um, um, this obsessive compulsive like like dog, I gotta do shit in order, bro. That's the only reason why I haven't skipped over it and just did Sephiroth, cause Sephiroth shit is much easier. You still gotta fight that bitch Bahamut, but it's much easier getting up to that point. I'm just I'm just like nah, bro. It is what it is. Um, all right. So now that that's out of the way. What y'all niggas been up to, man? Uh, like I said, what the hell has been going on? Because I, I've seen people around here just kind of losing their shit, losing their mind, man. And I mean, there's a couple of, I got a couple of things that I'm going to get into that's, ugh, there is, there's a couple of things that I'm going to get into that don't, it doesn't really surprise me because the only people that were convinced that, and I just, I guess we'll just jump right into it. The only people that was convinced that the Xbox was powerful is the people who wanted to believe that the Xbox was powerful. That That's it. Only the people who wanted to believe. Because every time you have a conversation with them and you tell them, hey, well, when we look at real life situations, PlayStation is stomping the Xbox out. But then they'll always revert to telling you about what's on paper. And I'm like, dog. Fuck the paper, this imaginary paper that you're talking about, this fucking spec sheet. Look at what's right in front of you. Look at what's right in front of you. Like, I don't know why, but for some reason, these people love lying to themselves. Fuck lying to us, because y'all gonna say whatever to us. But y'all, at this point, y'all lying to yourself. You know what I mean? And y'all are in defense of... A company that don't really seem to give a fuck about their product at this point. I mean, at this point, their product is Game Pass. And that's that's what they're more focused. It, actually, actually, let me let me take that back. Even Game Pass don't seem to be a focus for these motherfuckers no more, bro. I, I, to be honest with you, look, I was the one that was always skeptical saying, oh, I don't know if these motherfuckers really going to go third party or something like that, but dog and when i say go third party I, I i understand that they're already doing third party shit but i'm talking about completely going third party and hopping out of the hardware ring when i say that's what i mean when i'm talking about going third party but it kind of feels like it kind of feels like that's where the fuck they going bro do y'all see the moves that they're making? Do y'all see the things that they're doing? I mean, are y'all paying attention? Are Like, are y'all really, really paying attention? And if you are paying attention, how how do you feel about it? You know, it, it, fuck, fuck me telling you how you feel or how you should feel. How do you feel about it? I, I mean, 
now that y'all have defended Xbox for so long, and I'm not talking about you guys specifically, but I'm talking about the people who have defended Xbox for so long. How do you feel now that you see what's going on? I mean, you guys had wishful, hopeful dreams of exclusivity and then reality set in. We we are in the reality portion of this this weird ass alternate universe, bro. This this is where we are. So y'all could either y'all could either accept it at this point or y'all could still, you know, sit around and pretend like you don't see what's happening. Right. Like, I mean, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I'm not here to argue with you, bro. The writing is on the wall. It's at, at this point, it's time for y'all to accept what the fuck is going on right now. Um, And, and the thing is, I think what's happening What's happening with Xbox right now is a byproduct of the strategy that they took to try and maintain and retain y'all. And when I say y'all, I'm only speaking of Xbox gamers. When they decided to go down this strategy of Game Pass and telling y'all y'all don't need to buy games and hey, just get it on Game Pass and all of this shit, right? they created the monster that you guys are at this point so i don't blame y'all because it was all them they conditioned y'all to be this way only to now tell you well fuck, we need to make money so in order to make money we need to take these games that we've acquired and we're gonna still put them everywhere so there's really that like it, it was there was really no point in you making any of these purchases unless <laughs> unless your whole strategy, your whole idea was to just buy up a, enough shit so that you don't have to worry about having a fucking console and you can just be a third party publisher. That's the only thing that makes any logical sense to me. I don't know about y'all, but that's the only thing that makes logical shit, logical sense to me, bro. Now, here's, 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 here's what I'll say. Right. Because the biggest thing that's happening right now in this shit that people was talking about is Hellblade being 30 FPS. I would like to know why does that surprise anybody? I'm sure it'll be 60 FPS on PC, but why does it surprise y'all that it's 30 FPS on the console? I think that's exactly what their plan was. Yeah, and the thing is, you don't, those type of plans, those plans aren't made overnight. So they didn't just pivot to this, right? They, they didn't just move towards this goal, right? They didn't. Let me tell you, <clears throat> the one thing that Thrash don't really get enough credit for, and I always try to give credit where credit is due because that's just me, right? A lot of other people don't do it because of, you know, egos and shit, right? And they never want to say that they didn't know something. So they're never going to tell you like straight up, flat out. But Thrash did this thing called Daydreams. And he was talking about some things called Horizons. And he said, once we get to Horizon 3, there's going to be um, a lot of people who are not going to like what happens in Horizon 3. And to be honest with you, I feel like at this point, we're in horizon three. Here's the thing. I don't have a problem with 30 FPS. What I have a problem with when it comes to this is that why is it that you can't make a 60 FPS mode? Why is it that the only thing you offer is a 30 FPS mode? The only thing that I can think of, right? The only thing I can think of, the only thing that makes any sense is they could not get <laughs> the Series S to run at 60. So they kind of wanted to keep the, 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 the experience the same, especially knowing that the people who actually own the Series S outweigh the people who own the Series X by a very large margin. So I don't, I don't have a problem with 30 FPS. No. Nah. Now, nah, a lot of people pretend to, I don't have a problem with it. I don't, I, I would say I don't prefer it. I don't prefer it at all. 
I would I would rather you have a 60 FPS mode with the, with the option of 30 or 30 with the option of 60. Um, but I, I wouldn't prefer 30 at at any rate. And Final Fantasy Rebirth has a 30 FPS mode and it has a 60 FPS mode. Now, the visual quality is very different between the two. But that shouldn't matter if you give a person the option that they're going to be forced to have as well as another option just in case they don't give a fuck about that. Like me, I had to play that game in 30, bro. There was no way that I was going to play the story. <laughs> and the thing is, here's something that I'll tell you, right? <laughs> Even though you put it in um, in performance mode, the cutscenes, the cutscenes revert back to the 30 FPS. It, it revert back to the 30 FPS. I, I found that out because I put it in 60 FPS and when I got to a cutscene, I'm like, damn, that visual quality look a lot fucking better. And then I realized the frame rate was a, a bit lower looking at the cutscene. Um, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Are you less interested in that game because it's 30? That that's that I guess that would be the the the, the deciding factor, right? If you're if you're still going to pick it up, then does it matter? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I guess me personally, I'm just not in the business of truly giving a fuck anymore about the nonsense that 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 is spewed. Like, I get it. it it's to get a reaction most of the time and, and it's to poke fun. But seriously, I don't care that Hellblade is 30. I don't, I don't care that Hellblade is going to be stuck at 30. If, if I decide to play Hellblade, which to be honest with you, if I do, it'll be at a later time because Stellar Blade is coming out. There's other shit that's coming out that I want to play. And dude, I haven't even played the Stellar Blade demo because of Final Fantasy Rebirth, bro. but we're not going back to Rebirth. Not going to fucking go back to Rebirth. I'm not going to do it. Um, but yeah, I, this, this news does nothing for me. It, it does nothing for me, man. Look, I knew that the Xbox was subpar the second that motherfucker was announced. The second that motherfucker came out, the second they started telling you about specs, 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 and then real life performance was like, nope, 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 nope. You know what I mean? Like I knew that this shit was a piece of shit. So it is what it is. You get what you pay for. And that's what you pay for. You pay for a piece of shit. You pay for on paper. So you know what I mean? You, you're going to have to deal with it. Um, hopefully you guys still get to enjoy your game. But uh, let me ask y'all, does this make a difference to y'all? Does this make a difference to y'all? Yo, and, and the funny thing is, is that the people laughing about Hellblade are the same people. Listen, listen, hear me out. This is this is where the hypocrisy comes in now. The same people laughing about Hellblade, like, oh, that's trash. 30 FPS. Them same niggas is playing fucking Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> no. Those, those are the same people playing Dragon's Dogma telling you they they having like the time of their life right now. Again, it's complete hypocrisy and it's only to fight this imaginary war, which I thought was over. I thought the war was over, but it is not over. The niggas is still on the battlefield, man. They y'all still out there giving out shots, man. I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> listen, man, call it what you want. Call it what you want. The same people that's telling you, you should be upset. Telling these Xbox dudes, they should be upset about Hellblade is the same motherfuckers like, yo, look at my little character that I just created. My little partner, like the fuck, <laughs> nigga, you playing that at a whole 21 to 30 FPS. <laughs> Like what? <laughs> like 
like y'all got to a certain degree y'all got to stop that shit dog y'all y'all really got to stop that shit dog i'm, I'm sorry dog y'all got to stop it because again <laughs> I, <laughs> I was just like son sometimes it's better to just say nothing it's better to just say nothing y'all niggas would love to continue to fight this war bro xbox is dreamcast dog xbox is dreamcast i to be honest with you i wouldn't be surprised if this is the final journey for xbox truthfully if this is the final generation i would not be surprised i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> nah man the thing is though like i said like again 30 fps a lot of games are 30 fps if you want that visual fidelity and you want to see though that next gen grass and all that other shit then dog a lot of the games you playing you're playing them at 30. i think hellblade will be fine i think hellblade will be fine i, I think 30 fps is perfectly fine hell when the first hellblade launched that bitch launched at 30 fps so I, I really don't understand what the problem is with the new one but you know again we're in a new generation everybody has gotten accustomed to higher frame rates well at least if you're on a playstation you have so you know i get why you want it but but at the end of the day they can only do what they can do with these consoles man they can only do what they can do bro that's it that's it nah sick don't insult dreamcast like that well listen insult dreamcast or not dreamcast is xbox nigga they have gone the same goddamn route they have gone the same goddamn route and it's fine it's fine i mean i'm not mad at it oh shit link i ain't even know you were dying there bro i ain't even know you were dying there bro but anyway can you hear me yeah he can hear me yeah i can hear you i can hear you All right. Shit, and uh when hellblade launched on the ps5 ps4 pro it was 60 fps no, it wasn't. Yes, it did. It had a. Yes, it did. Go look it up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It wasn't mode. when that when Hellblade launched. That shit was 30 FPS, bro. On the base console, Bruh, Hold on. Go hold look on. it up. Hold on. On the base console, the game had a uh, the game had a uh, um a 60 FPS mode on the pro. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. PlayStation Five resolution is dynamic 1440 locked at 30 dynamic playstation 4 pro resolution and frame rate was 1440 well 1200 p upscale to 4 uh, 1440 uh quality 30 to 40 fps and dynamic 900 i guess 1080p it was 60 fps target and when did it when did hell i'm not saying it ran out? at a lot 60 but it, when did it, it come it out it came out in 2017 2017 yeah when it launched on the pro they had a dead uh pro came out when 2016 or was yep. it 2017 2016 2016 yeah okay okay fair i remember because i played i bought it day one it was on the fair pro enough. Fair enough. It, yeah but when i'm I, I don't know. I think it's a combination of the Unreal Engine Five, which is in a Trojan horse, and um. I don't. I don't think that's what it is. I, and think, and I think the Xbox just ain't capable of fucking doing I, it. Because if I they could, noticed, they would. See, we know the Series S can't do it. We know that. Yeah. And maybe they just want parity. They don't want. You know what I'm saying? That could. That could be the reasoning. Um, I mean, again, it, it's really fucking silly again like i said i don't really care though because it doesn't really it doesn't really matter bro it, but it they promised all, but they made all these claims you know at the beginning of the generation you know? oh yeah they, yeah, they that, did they remember did. that seal they had uh, uh optimized for series x or whatever yeah that it went away real 4K quick. resolution 4k ray tracing 120 that shit went away fast when, when was the last time you seen that when was the last time it. you seen that i haven't seen that little seal in a long time 
Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, like I said, uh, whatever they get, I mean, because if you look at it, I think a lot of games are running better on the PlayStation than the the, the Xbox. Like, see if these even their own like games are running better. 20 yeah. FPS on PlayStation Five, and I'm not sure if they ever had a 120 <laughs> FPS version on the, the Xbox. Did, did you see? Did you see the thing about Sea of Thieves? Um, there, there's exclusive skins and stuff that's only available in the PlayStation version. The Xbox users don't have access to. Oh yeah, and you can turn you off crossplay. <laughs> and you can turn off crossplay. <laughs> Why are they doing this to their customers, man? Bruh. They don't give. They trying to get this Xbox up out of here, man. I mean, <laughs> that might be the best thing for them, honestly. At this point, at this point, stop fighting it. Stop fighting this shit, bro. Just, just go ahead. Go ahead, get rid of the fucking box, bro. That that'll be the best thing for everybody, cause nobody wants that shit anyway, bro. Again, a lot of these people, I, I think they buy Xboxes just to fight for Xbox, bro. Like I, I just, I it's, can't, it's, I can't do it. Bro. You know, these are fans be looking at them games like, oh, this must be a bug. This must be a bug. This, <laughs> these games that they put on PlayStation, like like Hi Fi Rush, Intimate running at twenty twenty. Oh, that must be Hi Fi Rush got better shadows. They said, oh, it's got to be a bug. <laughs> it okay, got to be a, yeah, it's a bug. Right? <laughs> I mean, the game launched on Xbox and Xbox only, bro. How the fuck could it come out better on the PlayStation, bro? Like, what do you mean there's a bug, nigga? Where, why, you know what? <laughs> Dog, this shit's stupid. I mean, they, they gonna keep fighting a good fight, though. They gonna keep fighting a good fight, bro. Like, <laughs> they would sabotage the PlayStation version, right? You would think. I don't think they have the ability to. I think You'll one of I think, you that. know what I believe. I believe the caveat to putting that shit on play because you got to think that's a mutually beneficial thing for you to do, right? It benefits you as a person who owns the game for you to make extra money and have you know extra revenue coming in, right? But for PlayStation, it's like now they can say, "Hey, come and play this over here. You ain't got to go over there." You see what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So, but I'm sure they, PlayStation is so like, turn, okay. You can turn crossplay off on the PlayStation version? So yeah. on Xbox, you can't turn it off. Yeah, you can turn crossplay off on, on PlayStation. That's, Man, that, that's that was one of the things that I've seen there. Yeah. That's, that's. Yeah. And they've been, they've been wanting that feature, being able to turn it off. So they yeah. said the PC dude's been cheating so bad. They... <laughs> Here's the thing. Let me, let me, let me ask you this. <laughs> we saw Redfall launch 30 FPS. We saw right, Starfield right. launch 30 FPS. We see mm -hmm. Hellblade launching 30 FPS. The one, one common thing is that how? I thought that being wait, a wait, 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 wait. Hold one. on, Link. Hold on, Link. You this thought did Hellblade would be more than 30 FPS, bro? Yeah, because every the time they winning. showed that game, bro, it was in sub like fucking 30, dog. Every time, I know, man. But I, at, at what I, point I, did I you see thought... that game? Even when they showed the gameplay, at what point did you see that game mm -hmm. and it was running at sixty? Uh, and I'm not even talking about streaming the show because we know the stream. We is don't even be know like what 30. it was running on. Most of the time, when they show off their game, is running on a PC. But that shit was no. They said it was running on Xbox. They literally said well, the last it. time they showed it, they said yeah. That, but... Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess because the first one offered a sixty frame per second mode, I would I just assume. Yeah, this one would, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, guess that was dumb of me to do that. I, I think you have way too high of a standard for Xbox. <laughs> no, I don't have. You, you have to have a higher standard. And it was Xbox. a game I was looking forward to, right? And I, I, I think I was okay. They're gonna put this out at six. It's gotta be, you know. If I decide and they say all to the play it soon, did you see, I still have did the you ability see the gameplay? to play it better. Huh? Did you see any of the gameplay from the previews today? Uh, uh they had some gameplay up. The game, yeah, IGN and um, GameSpot, it's the same footage. I think it might be B-roll or something. The combat looked the fucking same. It still got, they even said all the combat is one-on-one. -on -one. You don't ever take on more than one enemy. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, wait. And it's got the same looking puzzles, the exact same puzzles. They said the same puzzles to progress through the stages. It's the same. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure <laughs> And the combat looked the same. So I'm trying to figure out what did they do other than upgrade the graphics? I, I don't... <laughs> man, listen. I thought this game was going to be more than this. I, I did. But why? I, I was foolish, man. 
I think I was just I holding just... out hope that they wouldn't fuck this one up. You know? Okay. Mm. Okay. Why yeah. do you still have hope for Xbox? I mean, no, no I don't seriously. have hope for Xbox as a company. This was just a title I was looking forward to, and I just but Xbox owns them. That's true. That that's that's true. That's I I just was you like, they ain't no way the Ninja co- Steel let the co. Was it the co owner <laughs> or the co? Hold left on, the studio. <laughs> Hold on. Let me the guy, one of the guys who founded the studio, he left the studio. There we go. Uh, Ninja Theory co-founder Tamim Antonidis has left the studio. The Hellblade writer director is no longer with the Xbox developer. On a recent visit to Cambridge, UK based studio for Hellblade 2 preview, Polygon noted that there was no sign or mention of Antonidis, who was formerly the company's chief creative director. A spokesperson for Xbox, which owns the studio, later confirmed to the site that Antonidis was no longer with the developer. Uh, VGC has contacted Microsoft to request further details about his departure. See, again, I, there's something so intrusive. Somebody don't want to. No, no, listen, work over there. listen, listen. There is something so intrusive about calling a business and requesting information about an employee. They're not gonna tell do, you. Do shit. they not? No, do that not just seem wrong? They got HR policies against all that kind of stuff, anyways. They're like, like with HIPAA. With HIPAA, you know, you yeah. can't violate people HIPAA shit by telling, you know, what type of uh, illnesses they may have or something like that. But it just seems so weird that these pretend journalists, because that's what the fuck we're going to call them. We're going to pretend like they're actually journalists, that they actually investigate these issues, call the company and say, hey, can you give us more information about why this guy is no longer with you? Fuck you, that's none of your business. <laughs> but um I don't why you see Shinji Mikami left and started a whole new damn studio. Let me let me ask you. And they said he retired sick. They tried to say he retired. Oh, yeah, okay. Let me let me ask you, <laughs> let me let me ask the chat. Let me ask the chat. Do y'all not see do y'all not see anything wrong with somebody calling somebody's employer and asking them information about why they are no longer there, like where they fired where they got y'all don't see that being weird it, from an outside party it is weird remember when sean Layden left sony sony never made no comment about why he left or nothing yeah they, just, he's, they're not gonna tell you it, it just seems so strange to me that that is that that is some sort of a new they feel entitled to that information that's kind of yeah. strange you know? yeah i mean you don't know why that man left you know what I mean? He could have left for reasons that had nothing to do with Let me him ask you a question, though, hating Steve. Xbox or something. You see a lot of why these higher up these Xbox studios keep leaving. I, I'm not. I'm just saying. Like, do you think, dude, the writing is on the wall. Be- Here's the thing: they know information <laughs> we don't know, bro. Right. Like, they right. are getting out before it's too fucking late, dog. The hammer is coming down. It's coming down. Oh, you know, I'm you just gotta, hoping that uh, the hammer coming down on them has nothing to do with PlayStation, bro. I'm hoping we just so keep me, this shit to fucking Xbox and let them niggas go down like that. Like, listen. So I'm listening to uh, uh, Colin Moriarty's show. He a fucking double agent. But anyway, um, you know, he had, remember I think I said this on a on roundtable. He had Jazz Corden on there. Yeah. These studios have sales targets that they must meet. Even though you, people want you to believe all they got to do is throw that shit in Game Pass and they don't care about selling it, right? right. But Jess Corden, whether you want to believe him or not, said that these studios have internal sales targets that they have to meet and they're telling Microsoft, how do you guys expect us to hit this and only have the game on Xbox and PC? That was like, an impossible we gotta put these games on PlayStation. That was an impossible We got to put these games on PlayStation. You, you know what they did? They got, they got besides themselves and thought that <laughs> a they thought people would switch from uh PlayStation to PC that's number 1 <laughs> number 2 because they knew they weren't switching over to yeah. Xbox bro number 2 they overshot what they thought PC gamers would be into they overshot yeah, they ain't it. buying a lot of this shit they they, they thought that they had a bigger stronghold on PC gamers than what they truly fucking have just because you make a game and put it on a platform don't mean that people is going to buy it. That is true. Grow, uh, having a larger user base don't mean those are potential customers, 
but it doesn't mean that they're going to buy your product that don't appeal to them. It's know? always potential. And, um, it, it's always potential. It's never anything you got people, that's solidified. These same people celebrating what Dragon Dogma sold two and a half million copies in 10 days called Final Fantasy 16 a failure for selling three and a half million copies in like a week. Again, a, uh, a you, game that's on one platform. Again, the hypocrisy you is got insane. the same people saying that Dragon's Dogma is fucking fire. Game is oh yeah, and that shit run at twenty one frame per second. Exa- but they're also complaining about Hellblade, thirty FPS. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, it don't, it don't, you, you it can't, don't, you don't can't make, make that shit up. You, you cannot. Yeah, and make this ain't no that Xbox shit up, bro. shit. This is some hypocrisy shit, you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's that's what I've been it's saying. Wild. All these people talking about Dragon's Dogma complained about Gotham Knights being I didn't play Gotham Knights. That was 30 frames per second. Yeah, that was 30 They, they were like, oh, I'm not mm-hmm. playing that. I'm not playing that, right? I didn't want to play that shit. But the thing about it is, if it's a game they really like, because I will do this, I'll deal with it to play the game. I yeah. played Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, but most it of the people it, it playing ain't. Dragon's Dogma never played Dragon's Dogma before. They didn't play it because they didn't even sell that much the first time they put it out. By the way, let me say, That's what, uh, y'all niggas must yeah. have missed the nigga, bro. Because y'all niggas showed up and drove. I ain't even, to be honest with you, I thought maybe I have like a hundred people in this bitch and we'll just be vibing out, nigga. Yeah. Y'all, Shit, y'all I, saw, I saw you, man. You know, but, see, the crazy thing about it was like, it said I wouldn't even subscribe to your channel. Like when I went to my YouTube channel. Listen. <laughs> I was trying to type listen. in the chat and it said I wasn't even no subscriber. I said, what the hell? Listen. It, that's why I don't, I, I don't even I don't know there's no on. rhyme or reason for any of the shit that that YouTube does at this point I don't even complain anymore dog I don't I, I've given up on complaining about that type of shit what's up Eric uh what's up JKS guy code Don yeah, John Sean what's work, good man, my nigga? free weights 101 what's good waffle iron what's good Weezer Corey, you cannot get dudes in this community to spend 500 for a console. These dudes expect people to play 1200 plus for a PC. Here's the thing. Believe it or not, Corey, I believe more people will pay $1,200 for a PC before they'll pay 500 plus for a console. I truly, truly believe that. Because with a PC, I feel like when the people invest that money they're gonna feel like oh well i can expand it over time so Mm -hmm. i'm not constantly spending twelve hundred dollars right but they don't know when they get themselves into that fucking loophole boys you're gonna be spending money and then feeling like what the fuck did i spend money for like that's what you're gonna be saying to yourself like what in the fuck did i spend this money for? because that's how i feel when it comes to pc gaming bro like i said there's no game on pc that comes close to final fantasy 7 rebirth for me bro I, honestly, there's no game anywhere that comes close to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth for me, bro. Like, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a fuck with you, bro. I fucking love that game. I love that. That's the only game that I put almost 400 hours into. Yes, 400 hours. And I'm still feeling the same way I felt day one. That's a very hard task. That's a very, very hard task. Usually, I get so just to the point where i'm just like fuck man i feel like i've been playing this shit for too long but not with this game this is different this is fucking different what's up david <clears throat> damn how long you been live man juan sosa probably about an hour now maybe yeah hour and 19 minutes all right so um let me get back to it when i can we can finally find it. Where the hell did the window go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Damn, where the hell did my window go? Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go. There we go. I found all right, but yeah, so, sick, man. It, while it's, he it's, worked, um, one second, one second. While he worked uh-huh. on numerous games at Ninja Theory, Antonidas notably served as writer director on Heavenly Sword, Enslaved Odyssey to the West, DMC, Devil May Cry, and Hellblade: Sinuous Sacrifice. 
According to Polygon, he was involved in the early stages of Hellblade 2, but the game is now being led by three creative leads. Environment Art Director Dan Atwell, Visual Director Mark Slater, and Audio Director David Garcia. Microsoft and Ninja Theory announced Hellblade 2 alongside the Xbox Series X in 2019. Uh, if if we wanna if we wanna do some console war shit, right? I'll say this: this man left before shit hit the fan. Before shit hit the fan, right? This is me in console war mode. In console war mode. This guy left because Microsoft is a piece of shit. Uh, they really wasn't getting the budget that they wanted. The deals or the, the the terms that they agreed upon when they decided to sell wasn't what they feel like, you know, what he felt like was actually happening in real life. Because remember when they made that bullshit ass video uh, where they were explaining themselves like, did that do anything for y'all when they, when Ninja Theory was like, hey, guys, yeah, we know we told you guys that we wanted to stay independent, but Microsoft came and dropped the bag of cash and we said, hey, we'll suck your dick. <laughs> we'll suck your dick right now. Um, But yeah, you know, so, you know, I, I hate to say it because I know we got fans everywhere. You know, we got fans on PlayStation. We got fans on PC. Unfortunately, uh, moving forward, yeah unfortunately unfortunately but it is what it is man um they 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 took a deal with they, they made a deal with the devil they made a deal with an uncreative devil and, and what's even more fucked up about let me tell you what's even more fucked up about this right playstation came to them and wanted to acquire them and they was mm -hmm. like nah we want to stay independent now your ass don't even want to be at the studio no more. Hey, see, remember <laughs> I, there was an article a while back when they got acquired and they asked them why they got acquired. And they said they wanted to get out of the race of trying to make games that were profitable so that company can remain open and so they can keep, you know, they didn't want the pressure of having to sell their game, having to meet a certain sales target to keep the doors open. They said by being owned by Microsoft and having Game Pass, that alleviates that stress and that pressure. But, but ask yourself this. And, and yeah. be truthful, Link. That sounds really enticing when you hear it, right? Yeah, it does. You telling me that all I got to do is focus on making content to put in a service and you're going to keep the lights on? And you're going to keep the lights on. And we ain't got to do nothing else. We just got to do what we love doing making games why wouldn't you take that deal link um yeah but do you want to make game pass game you hey know, hey low budget before you didn't even know what the <laughs> fuck a game pass game was they already make small games that's true they already make small games so what would have been but you know when they got acquired people said they were going to be microsoft naughty dog or yeah. some of that other stuff you know Again, and they still make small games. That's hopeful. Hopeful. That's that's yo, what up, uh Jez? That's that's hopeful thinking, man. That's wishful thinking, man. Shout out to my man Vegan VR King. He says PlayStation is king. Think they forgot. Yeah, they did forget. They did forget. A and now the top dog, the, the code. You know what? I'm gonna go find that video. I wanna see if this motherfucker was in that video. I wonder if he was in that video. Ninja Theory Acquired. Damn, what was the name of that video? Oh, here we go. Why Today is a huge day for us here at Ninja Theory. We've agreed to become a part of Microsoft Studios. And we felt it only right to tell you in our own words why we've decided to open this new chapter in the Ninja Theory story and what it means for us and for you, our fans. Microsoft have known us ever since they signed our first ever game, Kung Fu Chaos, for the original Xbox. Hold on, let me pull this out real quick. And after that, we created Heavenly Sword for the PlayStation 3. Following Heavenly Sword, we created Enslaved Odyssey to the West. And nah, then after that, that we him. created DMC it, Devil May Cry. Dude, 
And that dude Microsoft name was have Dominic. ever since they signed our first ever game, Kung Fu oh, Chaos no, no, for no, the no, original that is Xbox. Him. Oh, that is <laughs> us here at Ninja Theory. We've agreed to become a part about of this Microsoft dude right Studios. Here. And we felt it only right to tell you in our own words oh. why we've decided to open this new <laughs> chapter in the Ninja Theory story Yo. and what it means for us and for you, our fans. Microsoft have known us ever since they signed our first go. ever game. There we go. There we go. That's my man right there. That's my man right there. You know what? Looking back on this, he don't look like he's the happiest about this shit. Regardless, dog. He's supposed to be super excited. The look on his face say, God damn it. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> yo, that's crazy. Dog. You started a studio, you created wonderful games, you sold to a big publisher, and you, and then you hauled ass or either got fired. They either pushed you out or you left. Either way. This couldn't have been what you were looking to do. That's crazy, bro. That is wow. What's up, Star Guardian? Wow. Damn, dog. Kung Fu Chaos for the original Xbox. <laughs> this thing look like a creep. Hey, no, I'm sorry, bro. Look, I'm not talking about the man, but God. <laughs> yeah. Yo, look at this thing. Look at his eyebrows. His unibrow, nigga. Like, God. Damn. <laughs> That's a funny looking group of people, dog. Good Lord. Oh, 2000, it is 2003. <laughs> What up, Stoney? <laughs> oh, he's wild on Instagram right now. He's happy he left the company. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Look, at the end of the day, maybe Sony wasn't willing to pay them what Microsoft was willing to pay them. And maybe that's the reason why the deal went through. They say money talks and bullshit walks, right? Coming off the heels of a very successful game, um... Which I I I I believe Ninja I believe Hellblade One was successful. I know it didn't sell like bank gangbusters as far as units go, but sold about a million copies across all platforms. Right, but how much did it cost to create that shit? That's that's the real they said question. The, the budget for the real initial game was twelve million dollars, I think. Oh damn, twelve million. Yeah, but twelve million, and then they sold the game for what thirty bucks? I feel like I paid thirty bucks for that game. I'm almost sure I paid thirty dollars for it. I'm sure they turned a profit. Shit, it, the initial budget was twelve million. They sold the game for thirty bucks a piece, right? They sold around a million copies. Thirty million dollars, right there. And then when you should when you subtract what it cost, what what it cost to create. But they took home what eighteen million. But then again, you got to subtract other overheads, like you know. Well, th when they released it, was all digital. But then they create a physical copy, or was that another company that did the physical copy? What up, Andrew? What's well, shit, you know, Sony got to get their thirty percent out of that. You know, from every platform, take their thirty percent. Well, yeah, okay, that's thirty percent. But I'm talking about what it. Well, yeah. Damn. I, re I remember them hearing them saying they broke even on it at some point. I know that. That was a long time that, ago. That sounds I about right. I remember right. they said that they made their budget back. That, that sounds about right. Because if they're only taking home 70% of, let's just say, a million squared, even though I'm pretty sure it's not a million squared, right? But a million squared, they taking home 70% of that, let's just say 30 million Let's see what that would be like nine million less. 
because what 10% of 30 million would be like 3 million yeah it would be 3 million and then that 3 million times 3 that that'd be 9 million so hey did you about shit. 21 million yeah, you know, a lot of people ain't talking about this, but did you know that Horizon Forbidden West debuted to half the amount of players as Zero Dawn on PC? <laughs> and it don't appear to be selling well at all. <laughs> hey, listen. Yeah, I don't even think it's going to chart Sony on MPC. Loses, I'm going to laugh, bro. Because there's no fucking reason for you to be doing that with your single player games. That's on them, man. It's on them. I ain't, I ain't even mad at it and nothing. I'm just going to say mm-hmm. hardy, har, har. Hardy, har, har. These games keep selling less and less, though, on the PC. Something. It is uh-huh. what it is. I mean, the people uh-huh. who are buying the shit ain't going to do nothing but fucking use it for benchmarks anyway. And then they probably going to look at it like, why buy this game to do benchmarks when I can just download the shit because it's already cracked? <laughs> it I was mean, cracked 30 seconds you, after you gotta, you gotta ask yourself what sense does that fucking make for for me it seems like the dumbest thing that they could ever do for them it might mean something different business wise for them I mean that's the reason why they keep doing it and they keep pushing more and more and more and more and more into it right so it is what it is blue port blue point not blue point I'm sorry Nixus has been putting out more games than feel like PlayStation Studios has. It's crazy. And all they've been doing is porting shit over. So it is what it is, bro. And after that, we created Heavenly Sword for the PlayStation 3. Following Heavenly Sword, we created Enslaved. And each of our despite this, about four years ago, we very nearly disappeared as a company. Dozens, if not hundreds of developers like us were closing shop all around us. And we were told that there was no future for developers like us. Too big to be indie and too small to be truly AAA. We had to tell our team that we were facing annihilation. Good Lord. <laughs> and so we had to find another way. they take this particular picture bro <laughs> why why it had to be this like playstation need to stop being so scared of the media and just halt that pc push they should we split our team of 100 people into several smaller yeah, teams which work mostly on work for hire projects day day. these projects you know, help to fund our own original game help day made day. set or a sacrifice Our goal was to find a space between indie and AAA and to reclaim our creative independence. It took three years, a team of 20 people and a budget of $10 million, including my... The budget was $10 million. The budget was $10 million for uh, Hellblade. Marketing, but we did it. I knew it was With your support, Hellblade Senua's sacrifices sold way beyond our expectations, and that success even gave us the opportunity to give over a hundred thousand dollars to charity. The game has won dozens of awards, including three game awards and an incredible five BAFTAs. And our small act of creative rebellion is inspiring other developers to do the same. To find a middle ground where high end. See, you saying all this shit. They're saying all of this, but you're saying all of this after you sold yourself to a pimp. Like, well, what, what are you? What are you really trying to say? You're you're talking about how you you know you took this risk. You found a happy medium between AAA and indie, which they did, which they did. And that other studios are following suit. So if other studios are following suit, but you took the 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 first oppor well, I ain't gonna say the first. You took a fast opportunity to just take some money and, and fucking run. And and the same person talking is the same person who eventually left. After you told after you told us all this stuff that you're telling us. After you told us all this stuff that you're telling us, 
you left or you were fired, fired or left, fired, pushed out, left, something happened. It's crazy. Creatively risky games can be successful once again. If we played our cards right, we believed that we could get all of our teams to be creatively independent, like the Hellblade team, and we thought that it would probably take five to eight years. Good afternoon. Welcome to E3 2017. Look at this death dealer right here. This nigga is the grim fucking reaper, dog. You can't, you, you can't trust a nigga with beady eyes like this. This beady eyes ass, man. I never trusted this nigga, man. Never. Never. When Microsoft approached us, it was totally unexpected and not something that we were really looking to do. Nevertheless, they asked us what our goals and ambitions were as a studio in an ideal world. And so we said, we want to be free from the AAA machine and make games focused on the experience, not around monetization. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We we got to stop here. It, yeah, Venom. That's the first thing that I saw. That that's the first thing that I thought too. Mixer. That shit going as well. Anyway, uh Hmm. What the fuck? Anyway, what he just said is that when they approached them and and pretty much asked them in an ideal world, what is the best situation for you? They said a world where they can be free from the triple A machine, focus on the game and the experience, and not have to worry about monetization. Now, hold on. I would have been skeptical of this deal if they agreed to it. You know why? Because when you go home, every month you get in a light bill, every month you get in a water bill, every month you get in a cable bill if you have cable. Every month you're you got to pay your car, your car note, you got to pay your insurance, right? Nigga, in an ideal world, I would love to be free from fucking bills. I would love to be free from bills. So all I got to do is worry about the experience of fucking living. Right? But that doesn't make any fucking sense because who the hell paying the bills and how do they continue to pay the bills if they don't focus on the monetization of the product? And I'm not even talking about microtransactions. I'm just talking about selling a product to people who can buy it. Or, or, or to convince people to pay for Game Pass, which then would ultimately pay for you making the game. So I would have been skeptical of this deal as soon as they agreed and said, you know what? That's exactly what we want to. Hey, we got this new program called Game Pass. The first thing I would have hashed out with them is how the fuck are we going to pay for the seats that we sit in? Because those seats aren't free. How are you going to free us? H how are you going to free us from the AAA machine and allow us to focus on the art, the craft, the project? The thing that we want to do most. Where we don't have to worry about the monetization of the games. Am I the only one that would have been looking sideways if a person was standing in front of me with a bag of fucking money? And they like, yeah, just take the money. You'll be good. You'll be good. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to worry about selling one game. You ain't got to worry about selling a single game. Just make it for Game Pass. None of y'all would have been worried. Nuh-uh. 
I'm being so serious right now. None of y'all would have been worried about that. Because that would have been terrifying as fuck to me. That would have been terrifying as fuck if you told me all I have to do is create games to go into this service. Create games to go into this service. Once you, y'all had to discuss metrics. Y'all had to discuss something surrounding money. You had to discuss something. Bro, there's no way that somebody's just dropping a bag at your door and there's no caveats to the shit. Like, this is unbelievable. Just listening to this, knowing that there were adults in the room who pay bills and thought that this was a good fucking deal. Feel <laughs> we want to take bigger creative risks. Feel threw in some Game Pass trials too. Couldn't resist. <laughs> and create genre-defining games without the constant threat of annihilation. We want to make our own games our own way and not be told what to make and how to make it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and above all, we want to protect our team, our culture, and our identity because that, in essence, is the theory. You protected something. <laughs> in short, we ask for full creative independence, and I nope, 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 nope. In in 2017, Hellblade came out. I think. Hellblade actually, I believe when they were acquired by Microsoft, that was, what E3 was that? Was that 2019? Link? <laughs> you on, you on by the devil now, you're going to be told exactly what to do. Yo, it's either you told what to do or you can get you can get your ass on. We already got what we want from you. We wanted your intellectual property. Not even that we wanted your intellectual property to make money off it. We wanted your intellectual property so nobody else could get it. I truly, I truly believe that that was the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal was just to take something off the table because with all the developers out there in the world that they could have purchased, why would you target ninja theory why why would that be the target at that particular time he ain't leaving he already gone he's already gone <laughs> they were scanning rocks for seven years <laughs> <laughs> nah i don't know what the fuck they've been doing well they they got a whole ass game that's about to release so for at least the last three years, they were working on a video game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, full sweat, try hard. That's the only thing that makes sense to me, bro. The, the, the goal was that we see that PlayStation gamers are bragging about this game. They're talking about this game. They're showing pictures, screenshots of this game. This must be the popular game that we need to bring in those customers. Well... You were wrong, sir, but good day. I remember thinking at the time that this is going to be the end of that conversation. Instead, they said you can have all of that. And if you so choose, our marketing teams, support teams, research and technology groups are at your disposal to supercharge your efforts to do more of what you want to do and how you want to do it. <laughs> Their marketing teams. <laughs> Hold on. Let me run that back. The support teams, the research and technology groups are at your disposal to supercharge, supercharge. Supercharge <laughs> your efforts to do. Your efforts to do more of what you want to do and how you want to do it. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, that is hilarious. I wonder how that worked out for him. I really want to know how that worked out for him. 
All we all we got from from uh, Microsoft was a video with the more of what you want to do and how you want to do it. And they invited us to visit all of their game studio heads and talk to them one on one to see for ourselves. They invited us to visit all of their game studio heads. Dog. Let me ask y'all a question. It when was this video made? Hold on, let me see what this this video was made five years ago. So 2019, 2019. Yeah, it doesn't tell me what month. So it could have been either 2018 or 2019. But regardless, whatever doesn't even matter. At that time, what studios were they visiting? Because what studios did Microsoft own at that time? Who the fuck were they talking to? Who, who did, <laughs> what's up, plus on black? Who the fuck was they talking to? <laughs> hey, this is hilarious to me, dog. Y'all just don't understand why this is so funny. Who were they visiting? <laughs> they had closed Lionhead. The only two, the only studios I think was even around at that time was the the Coalition three four three and 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 uh uh the the fucking Forza studio. <laughs> Wait, no, no, yeah, three four three and Turn Ten, Turn Ten. That would have been the studios they would have visited. <laughs> Yo, what's up, True Bleed? I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to understand this in a way to make it make sense, dog. Because what the fuck are they talking about? So we did. Hellblade was created with a small team of just 20 people and extremely limited resources. Imagine what we can now achieve with our whole team of 100 people backed by Microsoft focused purely on Ninja Theory's vision. Nigga. Let me, let me show y'all the, the, the... Hold on, hold on. Y'all got to understand how fucked up y'all deal was, right? Y'all got 80 people, right? Y'all got 80 people and y'all sold y'all fucking self. Nigga, shift up and the studio that made Lost Soul Aside. Um, who else was it? Kenna. They all got more people and didn't sell themselves. They got more help. They got more people. They got dev kits for the PlayStation. They got PlayStations for the goddamn development team. They got a whole bunch of perks. And they didn't do none of the willing and dealing. Y'all shut out a whole fan base. An entire platform. To go to Microsoft? To, to go to the, 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 the fucking, to, to, to really? To go to Xbox? To be a part of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you played yourself, player. I'm now convinced that this is an opportunity for us to jump years ahead. To aim higher than we've ever dared to. To jump years ahead, nigga. It's been seven games, seven, like seven, six or seven years since you've released the game. Nigga, you could have did that being independent. Being independent, you could have did that. L let me put this into perspective for you. Hold on. Let me put this into perspective for you, dog. Final Fantasy Remake was out in like 20, right? It was out in like 20. Since then, they've released Integrade and Rebirth. And it's only 2024. The fuck you been doing for six and a half, seven years, player? Because it couldn't have been just making this eight hour game. There's absolutely no fucking way. There's absolutely no fucking way. They played the hell out of themselves, bro. They played the hell out of themselves. That's crazy, bro. This is crazy to me. To really fly without the threat of falling down that has held us back so much in the past. 
What does that mean for you, our fans? Well, from here on out, it does mean that our experiences will be focused on the mic. Well, from here on out, it does mean that our experiences will be focused on the Microsoft, Microsoft platforms. Platform. We recognize that this will disappear. We recognize this will disappoint many of you, and that's not something that we take lightly. I'm pretty sure he's going to say take lightly. These folks are insane. They are insane, bro. There, there, there is no fucking way on. There's no way on planet Earth. I would have joined Team Green over dude i would have started making games on pc nigga exclusively before i would have fucking joined microsoft bro that's just how silly it is there's not a single game that that motherfuckers even really talk about from xbox when you talk about xbox you talk about old ass experiences from like i don't know a long ass time ago you when you talk about halo you don't talk about the recent halos you talk about the old halos you talk about the Halos from fucking Master Chief Collection before you talk about Halo Infinite and Halo 5. Isn't that some bullshit? It isn't that some bullshit. Like, this is this is just this is ridiculous to me, bro. And the fact that they did this video, you played yourself twice. Twice. I mean, God damn it. We recognize that this will disappoint many of you, and that's not something. Point many of you, and that's not something that we so take lightly. What like company just said this statement? I can't remember. Shit. That was Ninja Theory. Oh, Ninja Theory. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. We're now gearing up to bring you many more games, which, just like Hellblade, will be ambitious, creatively different, and unique so, in their own way. Let me ask you a question, You've supported us on our journey so far, and we hope whichever platform you're on, You'll be with us as we open this exciting new chapter in the Ninja Theory story. Got way more exclusive than us, and this is going to allow us to compete. What was all that about? <laughs> if if these games go into PlayStation, I don't know, dog. It don't make sense. Something's not right. You know what, though? If you take a look at this guy, and I'm talking about not just him, but everybody who we've seen. They don't look happy, even though they're saying this and they made this video. No, they this don't. does not look like the face of a man that's happy about the decision that was made. Just look seriously. Look, look at him. Do this look like somebody that's excited that they just got acquired? This dude don't look excited, bro. This wasn't, you know what? It was PR bullshit. It was more, it, it was damage control is what it was. It was, damn, we're going into this and now we look like pieces of shit. Let's see if we can look, because for some reason, these statements work on some people. This shit don't do nothing for me, bro. PR does not work on me at all, bro. I can, dog, I could not care less about your reasoning for doing something this fucking silly, silly. But to be honest with you, I would have stayed, I, I would have stayed where I was, or I would have at least gone with a company that games is their focus. I feel like Sony has taken the most chances with a whole bunch of odd, weird type games. But no matter what, it doesn't matter who's going to take a chance on you. You have to make something worth buying. That that's, that's the main thing. So let's not talk about who you went with. Have you created a product that is going to move people to want to purchase it? That's that's all I really want to. That, that's all I really want to know. <laughs> Narrative distorted as marketing. Yeah. Yeah emotional damage control joined microsoft and was told their budget shut up or get shut down <laughs> hey once the ink dried they they couldn't turn they, they couldn't change even if they wanted to man once the ink dried that was it that was a wrap they've been sleeping on the job man i don't know what they've been doing but i can't even really say i feel for them man they they made a real a really really bad decision 
and they knew they made a really, really bad decision. And they knew that they probably fucked up a lot of business relationships because of the move that they decided to make. And then this video didn't make it any better. To be honest with you, I don't know who would have looked at this video. Look, as an Xbox gamer, right? I'm not an Xbox gamer, but as I'm going to speak from the perspective of an Xbox gamer, had I seen this video, I'm not sure that this would have given me a lot of faith in whatever it is that they were going to produce. I, I, it just really wouldn't. Now, if I'm part of the console war, this is exactly what I wanted to hear. This, this is exactly what I would have wanted to hear. Maybe, but they have got to be sick of working on Sea of Thieves. Probably. Phil Spencer aged in dog years. He absolutely has. 1,000%. After release, they're going to get dissolved for sure. I don't know if they're going to get dissolved. Look at Phil at Blizzard Party. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, man. I'll take your word for it. Phil has always been a snake oil salesman to me. He has talked out of, you know, both sides of his mouth on multiple occasions. He's not a trustworthy individual at all. I don't know why people still put faith or trust into Phil Spencer. He is probably the the worst type of person because there's so many statements that he make that you can literally go back and see how he contradicts himself. I mean, and it's just like if you're still hanging on this dude's coattail and you're still trying to say this guy is just, oh, he's just such a great guy. Something is wrong with you at that point. At that point, I can't blame Phil no more. I got to blame you. What up, uh, Team Ambush? What's good? If Microsoft wants to get my attention, announce new Mech Assault or a new Killer Instinct. Hmm. You know they're going to try and crawl back to Sony and Sony is going to say, nope, 60 FPS or nothing. Jez, all I will say is Phil Spencer needs to go now. Uh, I don't know if he need to go. I mean, because right now it looks like he's getting the strategy done, man. He, he's he's I, I feel like he's gotten out of a lot of people's good graces. So he's kind of winding down that, oh, I got to be the nice guy bullshit. He, he's he's getting out of that. He, he's almost out of that that cycle of bullshit. So now he just he's just going to start straight up telling them exactly what the fuck it is. Either you like it or you don't to either you either you gonna stick with us or you're not. I mean, because we've already we are already set to replace you as customers and we're going to replace you with the rival platforms. There won't be a rival platform, though. There's not going to be a rival platform. There, there's just going to be fucking PlayStation and Nintendo. There won't be a fucking Xbox. At this point, I didn't believe this. Like, I didn't believe this with solid faith previously. But honestly, I kind of feel like that's exactly what the hell they doing. Yeah, that was a load of bullshit. But shout out to him. It is what it is. Uh, they said what they said. Uh, the, the guy is gone now. <laughs> Not him, not the guy we just seen last, but uh, the other co-founder of the studio. He's out of there. And, uh, you know, I just want to know more about why he's gone. I want to know more about why he's not there anymore. I would love, love to know the inside deets on that. Just so I can go back and then watch that video again. Just to know and understand how bad they fucked themselves. But he gone, though. He's out of there. It's all good. It's all good. Let me see. Somebody say he was on, on Instagram while and let me see if I can find something regarding that. Oh, well, I was actually. Super Ninja Tam. Oh, this is him. <laughs> oh, oh, my boy partying. He out here partying. He living it up. My man living his best life right now. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. All right, cool. All right, what else we got on the agenda here? What else we got on the agenda here? Oh, this was an interesting one. Oh my God, we got to go through this one. We got to go through this one. Hold on, let me put you guys back in the mix real quick. 
does a stuttering console space offer an opportunity for others? This is an opinion piece. So none of this is facts, just opinion. With Xbox pushing towards third party and PlayStation and Nintendo braced for a fallow year, the door is open for disruption in the games market. God damn it. Listen, Chris, 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 Mr. Dream. We've already had disruption. What more disruption do you need, buddy? How much more disruption do you want? God damn it. We've already had enough disruptions thus far. I don't think that we personally need to have any further disruption, but let's get into it and see what he's really talking about. Everyone's favorite candid games exec Phil Spencer was in the news last week discussing the concerning lack of growth in video games. Hold on. Hold on. Phil Spencer, Phil Spencer. See, Phil Spencer has a bad habit of doing that, right? He has a bad habit of speaking for everybody, for everyone. And I think he really needs to fucking stop that. I, th I think he really needs to stop that. I Again, I don't know what numbers it is that he's looking at. But I also feel like. I also feel like he's just. He, he's always talking as if he knows everybody's business. And I just don't feel like he has the data that he believes that he has because everybody else seems to be doing very well. It only seems to be him that can't manage. He seems to be Xbox seems to be the console that can't manage. They, they got rid of Jason Ronald. Hold on. I'm speaking as if this is facts, right? But from what I gathered, the Xbox team has been replaced with the surface team, which means they already planning on going in a different direction. No matter how, no matter how you want to look at it, they're already planning to go in a different direction. Now, does that what? mean that they're going to push for mobile? Does that mean that they're going to push for mobile or does that mean that they're going to do something like, uh, I don't know, like one of those aces rog devices. I personally don't believe so. I, I don't believe so because again, it would be a losing fucking battle. You would jump into a losing battle again. People love brands believe it or not steam people love steam people buy the steam deck the aces rog is way more powerful than the steam deck but people still buy the steam deck because they they know steam they're gonna put steam their steam account on it even though they can put steam on the aces rog as well just from the brand name alone more people went out and purchased that goddamn Steam Deck. Now, you, Microsoft, can't even make it in the console market. Making a console where there's only three players. How in the fuck would you jump into an OEM market with all these fucking players? I mean, you're going to jump from one losing battle to the next losing battle. If you're going to do that, you might as well just stay in the console market. You might as well just stay in the mon the console market. Right. It only sold 3 million, but name a name one of those devices that has sold more than the Steam Deck. One of those handheld mobile PCs. Bill talks like the industry is brand new and crazy. Yeah, yeah. The the thing is He's talking about li li listen to how crazy this sounds. I want you I want y'all to follow my crazy logic for a second, right? He's saying that the industry isn't growing. Let's say he's talking about the overall industry, right? And let's say he's talking about everybody, right? Okay. 
y'all went out of y'all way to get folks, consumers, to stop buying. So you created a problem, and now you're complaining about a problem that you created. Does oh, anybody else that. find that funny? Well, they thought that they were going to gain so many subscribers in the service that it wouldn't matter. And guess what? It didn't work. Yeah, but nobody thought it would work. Only they thought it would work. They thought that game. Look, gamers aren't cheap. Gamers are not cheap. I promise you. Gamers are not cheap. You, you Do y'all see these collector's editions that they go out and buy? Oh, yeah, they buy that stuff. Yep. Buy it up. Gamers it are not cheap. But if you tell me I can have all your shit at a super discount, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to try to steal from you even, even though you're trying to give it to me. Even though you're trying to give it to me, I'm still going to steal it from you. So even though you're only charging me a dollar to test out this service, I'm going to steal three years from you. But now you, the person that thought giving away software was the bright idea and it was going to make you look like the darling or the sweetheart. Now, all of a sudden, you're complaining about the industry not growing. That's funny. Listen, that is funny as shit to me. When you say, hey, sick, you see this shit? I'm going like, to be like, yeah, but what did you expect? What did you expect? You told, you tried to tell people that $70 was too much for games and then you made game $70. That's, that's great. <laughs> when sabotaging goes wrong, that's all I can say, Link. When sabotaging goes wrong, they tried to sabotage the industry. They tried to move the industry in a certain direction, and they only ended up putting themselves in a the worse position. Overdrive Prime, I've been trying to figure that shit out for the longest, man. I honestly don't know. But let's see what the article says. It says, everyone's favorite Candid Games exec... Phil Spencer was in the news last week discussing the concerning lack of growth in video games. He said it before and he's not wrong. It's one of the two big factors behind the industry wide layoffs we've been reporting on. The other being the rapidly rising cost of everything. And for Xbox, it's particularly acute because it's in the growth areas where it's looking to play. In a console market dominated by Sony and Nintendo, a mobile market ruled by Google and Apple, and a PC business controlled by Valve, Xbox has been trying to disrupt things, grow things, and widen the market, go to places its rivals are not. Yes, they have. Oh, my God. Listen. Listen, man. Listen, man. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, man, something that I've noticed, and I, I think that this is extremely funny to me right like it might not be funny to y'all but i got a real sick humor right uh when that shit fell through <laughs> in the u.s with, with with the with the store with the the apple store having to be open and all that shit dog everything seemed to fucking fall apart for microsoft right there right th they were so hell bent on getting that shit to pass they started back in Epic and they started saying all kind of crazy shit and just putting themselves out there, just dancing, dancing in the fucking rain, butt naked. They were dancing in the rain, butt naked. They were twerking, trying to get in that Apple store so they can create their own shit. And guess what? All of it fell through. Now in the EU, they will be just fine because the EU is like, yeah, I'm going to need you to allow other stores on your store, Apple, uh, on your shit, Apple. And, uh, you know, but the e the European market is so fucking small. It would not help in whatever strategy that they're trying to do. So it's like, fuck, they hit a brick wall like they ran head first 
into the wall with no goddamn helmet, man. And it's like ever since that point, it's it's like that's the point where they are just like, fuck, we are fucked. And then not only that, I was looking at a report. They were talking about how Call of Duty Mobile is down like 49%. Nigga, <laughs> I saw one. Hold on. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this shit was so funny. I said, Jesus Christ. Nigga, Power World lost 97% of its Steam players. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> dog, dog. 97 percent bro that's a big ass percentage dog nah your europe is not it, it's not a big enough market to sustain what it is that microsoft is trying to do it, it's it's just not it's not as far as video games go the uk is a bigger market than europe no no, they said 97%. It wasn't no 67% unless somebody got it wrong. Hold on. I'm going to find it for you right now. Give me a second. Give me a second. Because I made sure I commented on that shit so it wouldn't disappear. Hold the fuck on. Hold on. Let's go. Let me find this shit for y'all. Uh, nigga pal world has lost 97 percent of its players on steam since launch oh 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 you mean call of duty oh yeah i probably got that number right yeah i i I got that number wrong i mean i I probably got that number wrong i i knew it was something crazy though It, it was something ridiculous when Power World launched on January 19th, it quickly skyrocketed to be one of the most popular games ever released on Steam as the second most played game ever with over 2.1 million players. Just over two months later, however, that player base has fallen. According to Steam DB, Power World lost 97% of its peak player count on Steam. In fact, since the beginning of March, when player counts were still hovering around 275,000 daily players, the game has consistently lost thousands of players per day down to a recent 24-hour peak of just 69,850 as of writing. While that number is startling, it shouldn't be shocking or unexpected right now. It also shouldn't be taken as a sign that the game is starting to fail. Now, uh, to be honest with you, brother, G, I haven't been playing anything but Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That, that's the only game I've been playing. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That is the only game. I haven't played a single... Dude, the Stellar Blade demo is out. I haven't touched that shit yet. I'm probably not going to touch Stellar Blade until the actual game launches. But, dog, yeah. Yeah, I, I've been I've been quite busy in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Getting my ass whooped by these goddamn challenges at the end. <clears throat> but yeah <sighs> that is this is this is just crazy to me this is crazy to me everything is just fucking seems crazy to me man but this is just this is some wild ass shit right here all right Whew. but yeah oh man hold on call of duty let me see if I can pull that one up call of duty mobile loses 67 67- Oof. Warzone Mobile. This is from Tweak Town by Derek Strickland. Derek Strickland is the guy. But it says Warzone Mobile earned 67% less than COD Mobile. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, damn. I definitely said the wrong thing then. Wait, so hold on. So COD Mobile is different from Warzone Mobile? Hmm. 
Those are two different games. Warzone Mobile has been on the market for over a week now, but the Mobile Battle Royale hints that Call of Duty may have hit a wall when it comes to on-the-go gaming. Warzone Mobile launched on March 21st and has generated around 1.4 million in its first four days on the market. New data from Pocket Gamer indicates that's a significant 67% reduction from its predecessor, Call of Duty Mobile, which has released to a very different pre-COVID-19 market in October 2019 made 4.2 million in its first four days. Warzone Mobile made 2.8 million less than COD Mobile did the same comparative period. Mm. One important distinction to note is that Tencent's monetization powerhouse, Timmy, helped make COD Mobile, whereas Warzone Mobile was primarily in-house with the help of other contractor teams. Back in 2020, I said that Warzone was the most important thing that Activision had ever done. I I stand by that claim by virtue of the mode's interconnectability with platforms and various Call of Duty games. Uh, but the emphasis on mobile may slow down if the revenues can't keep pace. Wow. Wow. Damn, son. Ooh, that sucks. That sucks. I feel for him. I don't. But I feel for him, even though I don't. I don't feel for him. I'm actually... Ah, this is... This is interesting news. <laughs> it is interesting, interesting news. Oh, that sucks. Imagine spending eighty billion dollars, eighty billion dollars, or well, sixty-nine billion, whatever the fuck they spent for Activision, right? Just, just to. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... <laughs> such a... It is such a... Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelmed? Have you ever been swallowed? Swallowed. Swallowed. swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed? Swallowed. I would have been. Have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> they have been swallowed. <laughs> hey, it sucks to suck, though. It, it sucks to suck, man. It is. It's all good, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. Damn, son. Call of Duty. I would have never seen it coming. Yeah, right. Yeah, the fuck right. Uh, anyway, back to what I was talking about before uh, with this uh, Chris Dream article. He says, in a console market dominated by Sony and Nintendo, a mobile market ruled by Google and Apple and a PC business controlled by Valve, Xbox has been trying to disrupt things, grow things and widen the market, go to places its rivals are not. And the results have been mixed. Game Pass has clearly disrupted things, but it's not transformed the business in the way subscriptions have in movies and music. Streaming isn't quite there yet, and the Series S, which is designed to be a low-cost entry-level point to a new console generation, hasn't succeeded in expanding the audience. If I am to be slightly critical for all these disruptive business moves, we've not really had the games to drive them forward. When Nintendo disrupted the market with the Wii and DS some 20 years ago, how has it been doing that long? How has it been doing? How has it been that long? Oh no, he's just saying, how has it been that long? It wasn't just motion controls and touch screens that did it, but it was the Wii Sports and brain training. Game Pass still hasn't had that constant stream of quality games needed to build momentum. Series S didn't have that game, at least to begin with, to attract the new audiences. 
Xbox first party slate has had many excellent games in recent years, but when it comes to their biggest bets, namely Halo and Starfield, they just haven't delivered and third party publishers haven't stepped up either, particularly with their reluctance to support Game Pass with new AAA games. Looking at the sales charts, Xbox, at least the one we've known for the past 20 years, seems under threat. Speaking to a major European retailer last week, I was told they can't shift anything with an Xbox logo on it. Fuck! Say what? Well, I mean, damn. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> wow. Damn, son. Speaking to a major European retailer last week, I was told they can't shift anything with an Xbox logo on it. Hmm. That's crazy. Now, how can we blame Sony for this? There's somewhere in there, Sony is to blame for this. Some, we need to find a way. We need to find a way yeah, to blame Sony for this. Because this just can't be Xbox's fault, right, Link? Just can't be them. No, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. It's Sony money hitting all these games. Mm -hmm. that, is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, that's what it is. Dang. Maybe that's what it is. So you hey, mean to tell me they can't do it with, with, with buying Activision, Bethesda, Zenimax? Hey. This is the same guy, this Christopher Dream. He said um, not too long ago that um, uh, he talked to a uh, the developer of a very popular game from last year, and they said they don't even know why they bothered putting their game on Xbox. So, um, people just don't want their product. Well, here's the okay. They don't here's, want it. Here's the thing. I, I told people way back in twenty, I think it was twenty nineteen. Yeah, I think it was 2019 when I told y'all no one wants an Xbox. And nobody believed it. Nobody believed it. Y'all just thought it was a song where I was just poking fun at Xbox fans. And, you know, you always got to sprinkle in the truth with, with, with the laughter, right? The problem is, is nobody wanted to believe what was right in their face. And I don't understand why they wouldn't want to believe what is right in their face that's why i'm shocked that everybody else is shocked but dude you think xbox doesn't see this xbox hasn't marketed a single fucking game when was the last time you seen xbox marketing on something that wasn't a twitter video Link? Um, that's a good question. I can't remember. I mean, you can't count these influences, right? No. No, when I say okay, well, marketing, I mean the way you see PlayStation marketing damn near every fucking Oh, no, they're not doing that. They're not doing that. They're not because they're not because they know people are not going to buy it. So what's the point of spending all that money? Craziness, dog. Craziness, bro. I ain't never seen a company that fucks up so bad, bro. And I got to know how these motherfuckers are feeling, dog. I got to know how they're feeling about this shit, bro. I wish we could get another leak like we got in them court documents when they were being very fucking blunt and honest, nigga. I want to see how them folks feel now. I want definitely Matt Booty. Definitely the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to know how he feel after. Like, you know how you got to feel to have to tuck your tail? And, and and correspond with Sony when they know how you feel about them now. Listen, see, they said they had gla frosted glass and the, they were doing top covert, top secret stuff to make sure nobody knew to see all these games was being worked on on the PlayStation. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. Yep. But why would you do that though? 
I don't know. Wait, hold on. Are y'all saying that my mic is low? Do I sound low, Link? Nah, you sound good. Yo, it's weird. For some reason, I always come out low to them, but I be I be sounding because I can hear myself in my headphones, and I hear myself very very clearly. So it's 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 weird that Gas Pass was Xbox downfall. Listen, Bender Bender of Strings. I said this from the beginning. I said, you remember Link when we was having a conversation about? Wait, you might have not been there. You might have not been. I think it was probably with the round table. But dog, we had a conversation a long time ago and I was just asking them logically, how does this make sense? And the answer that I got from some people was, I don't care how they're gonna pay for this. I'm just happy that I can get these games in the service. And I'm like, that is very short-sighted for you to think that way, right? Because you always have to think about how much money things are gonna cost the company because that'll let you know how long they'll be able to continue to do what the fuck it is that they're doing. And, and it's weird that somebody just took the word that they would do this shit forever, that they would just be providing games in this service forever. I'm like, dog, that just doesn't make any logical sense to me because it's always money in money out, bro. Like, I, I don't know, man. I guess I just look at situations differently, man. <laughs> kind of happy, but kind of disappointed. Started this gen was lit. Now Xbox is dead. To be honest with you, King Shaq, man, look, Xbox committed Harikari. It almost feels like the folks at Xbox have been trying to kill any sort of hype for the Xbox brand since the beginning of this generation. Do y'all realize we saw hell, a sinuous, uh, sinuous sacrifice? I think it was 20, 2019, right? It was 2019 we saw that video the the when they, when they uh yeah i can hear you you said something no i i had to swap phones i just wanted to make sure you could hear me oh yeah 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 i can hear you i can hear you i remember in 2019 when when sinuous uh sacrificed the the head the new hellblade wait sinuous saga which one was it the saga or the sacrifice sacrifice was the first one right i think so Saga. No, the saga was the first one, I think. Saga's the first one? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, y'all know <laughs> Hellblade 2. We'll just say Hellblade 2, goddammit. We saw Hellblade 2 for the first time in like 2019, right before the consoles launched. They are just now preparing to release this game about five years later. Sick, sick. Think about the studios that they bought up in 2018 that still haven't released a game. They bought a bunch of studios in 2018, and none of them studios has put out a game yet. I mean, okay, so to be fair, right? I'm gonna try to be fair, fair and impartial, right? Like, what about Compulsion Games and Dead? What's the people who made State of the K? They ain't putting nothing out. But that's the thing. They at least showed them what they're working on. Remember when they did the showcase? I mean, they at least. Yeah, we did see some, a little yeah. something. Yeah, so I, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fault them too bad. State of the K, but yeah. I ain't gonna fault them too bad, but it's kind of weird that the smaller studios seem to be taking longer even longer <laughs> than the bigger studios which is even that that don't seem strange to you that seems kind of fucking weird to me bro it does yeah the trade-offs made in game pass a consumer has to make is just not worth it for easily for like over 80 percent of its users yeah it, it's it really isn't plus i don't want somebody fucking creating games and and tailoring them Sick. to you know what i mean like i don't want them you know Sick telling me what i'm gonna Yo, be I able saw, to play sick, i saw somebody hyping up control being coming to game pass last month they done put that game in there three times <laughs> they recycling games now <laughs> hey playstation done did that shit too dog i ain't trying to make well, this the a, thing is a, no 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 they did it too they did but that we're shit. not no no playstation does it but you don't hear anybody over here hyping up playstation plus like game oh, pass no, though no 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 <laughs> nah, I did get uh, that Midnight Suns game because I, I just I wasn't interested in buying that game at all. So I figured I'd try it in uh, PlayStation Plus since I got it anyway. Oh. And I still haven't touched it. It's it's a weird, strange thing, bro. So what else? What else been going on, bro? What, what else they got going on? I don't know, man. I, I Actually, really actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to this. 
you might have heard this you might have even answered this but i just want to make sure that we get back on track speaking to a major european retailer last week i was told that they can't ship anything with an xbox logo on it and during the gdc two games publishers developers independently told me they were struggling to justify supporting xbox platforms yep. what the fuck bro like shit is hey what's up forsaken uh jump in nigga if you ain't doing nothing. it's looking it's looking sick it's, it's, it's look they down bad and it's really bad it's getting Yo, it's, worse that, much worse he, here's the thing bro it's bad and now it's noticeably bad look like See, before it was bad, it, but it was behind the scenes bad. Now it's bad listen, they in your said face bad. Last month they was down forty seven percent in Europe, uh year over year, right? Yeah. Or that no for the month, for the month. That same month last year they were down thirty percent. Now Sony was down negative two percent, but this same month last month they were up two hundred and five percent or something ridiculous, right? Yeah, you're supposed to go so up. yeah. Go down a little bit when you know, but they're going backwards every month. Like wow. something, it, the consumers just not want their products anymore. They never did. At what point? <laughs> listen, the, the, I, I listen. You might not believe this, but I promise you, this is what I truly, truly believe. Nobody could tell me any different. The people that continuously buys Xboxes are the people who have been with Xbox since the Xbox OG. A lot of them even left though and went to PC. They've left yes you you was the one who mentioned the numbers the xbox live numbers and even when they um yeah 48 you know, million in 2013 them, yeah even when they combined them the number went down to 33 they right? had 33 yeah they yeah because they had bled out oh, to no. like 11 11 or 12 million uh subscribers on game pass core which used to be xbox live gold yeah so yeah. they have less subscribers on their service than they did in, had in 2013 yo so yo <laughs> they going backwards, let me, man. Let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something. And people could get out, get, could disagree with me, get upset, whatever. I went the UK for holidays last year. I think I was telling sickness. Yeah. They had Xbox literally giving it away. You know what? I'm not even gonna go recently. I'm gonna go way back. I remember my mom called me and she was like, hey, I just paid my uh, mobile bill and they were offering me a Xbox. Do you want it? I was like, the fuck? No. <laughs> this I'm talking about they were offering the Series X. The, the year came out. They were saying like, if you pay your bill monthly, they'll put a tack on like a four pounds every month and you get an Xbox. <laughs> and people were acting like oh no the, the supply constraints everybody want to Xbox. oh no that's a lie people are... nah i'm telling y'all like when when i post that shit and i'm like yo ain't nobody want that shit in the uk and you hear people in the uk say oh no in the uk is it nah they lying they are lying they 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 were lying a ton because they were giving that shit away from the jump they still giving it away ain't nobody hey. buying that shit Forsaken man, they they what Steam gonna save them though. Steam and the Epic Game Store are gonna bring them back, bring Again, them back to life. That's on. what they saying. Hold on, but I'm yeah, gonna tell you something. Yeah, here's very the thing. I, I oh, need, we need to have a real conversation <laughs> about this. I'm so glad you brought that up, King. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you brought that up. Let let let's let's stop for a second, and and ask yourself, Steam coming to Xbox. That is only gonna help Steam. That is not going to do anything for Xbox. Nothing. Why would you nothing. have a platform on your platform that gets the same games as your platform? Another storefront that you can they can take a thirty percent cut where you could just sell it on your storefront. That <laughs> makes get the cut. That makes, don't get the cut make link. zero sense. It makes uh, zero sense. Well, if it's not a Microsoft game, they get nothing. No, they won't get anything. They won't get any cut. Even if it, if it's a Microsoft game, they they'll get the seventy percent from the store. But once Steam is there, there's nothing being charged. No, no, no. And the here's what you fees... gotta understand. No, 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 no. Here's the biggest right. problem with this thought and this idea. Games on Steam are cheaper than games on the Xbox and PlayStation, bro. That's true. Why in the fuck would you do that? 
and and sick these are going to be unoptimized pc ports just running on xbox hardware <laughs> it won't it, they won't even run good. these games are gonna run terrible oh, they won't even run this is going to be the biggest l of all time i didn't think that they could take an l bigger than game pass bro but this is going to be uh, worse than that you know you know what this reminds me of so? sick remember no, no, no. that and guy ask yourself, um ask yourself you got this. people out here champing in it well, well ask yourself this because they're idiots no, no no ask yourself this if i'm going to run steam on something why would i run it on a series s or a series x <laughs> People are dumb. People are really dumb. I can dumb. go get a laptop that will perform better than both of those and already have yeah. Steam and also have the mm-hmm. ability to have the Xbox app if I wanted it. That's true. You know, it makes it really no make logical, sense. plausible no sense, bro. Make it you make sense, wild. dog. Please, somebody in the chat, make this move make any sort of sense, please. Please, y'all well, here? Maybe because they can play. Hey, sick! They can play the PlayStation exclusives on there. No, that's what no, they want no, to. They want no. to. But see, <laughs> oh, that's not gonna again, happen. I said, I said the same thing. That was one Sony of my ten full that. hat mom- moments. But then I thought about it and I said, "Well, I ain't think about it." Somebody brought it to my attention. It was like, "Nah, Sony yeah, just they block, block that it. shit." They'll yeah, just they block will. Mhm. To be honest with you, this move seems like it they no want sense. to get rid of their oh, Xbox. They, they want to get rid of it. Oh, they're getting rid of no. it. No. Yeah, it's, it's going all the way back to what I was telling you, sick. They're going to do the OEM thing. Basically, they're going to get Asus, yep. MSI, and mm-hmm. them from yep. base Xbox. Listen, remember, there was a guy who... It's gonna hey, I'm gonna add to your, yeah, you know what? There was a guy who uh, leaked all the games that was coming and what the announcements that was about to be coming out by Xbox going more to our platform. I hate those. And no, no, no. But listen, he said that he brought up this OEM thing that you're talking about that Microsoft's going to uh, have other OEMs start making equipment for them, and they're going to brand it Xbox. So, yeah, this console going going away, man. Yeah, it, it was going away a while back because I think sometime last year I was telling sick about how there was also a leak about them doing a mobile before people were talking about mobile and I, before they even put it to the uh the surface division i was telling sick they, they're, they're supposedly working on a mobile and sick was like <laughs> they didn't do that shit <laughs> i don't i don't know if they gonna do no no mobile because again anything that xbox does anything that they put their name behind is gonna be a failure big think, money yeah. on the round table made a very good point he said if he said if PlayStation would have acquired Activision or if PlayStation would have acquired uh, Zenimax, you would have heard great things about PlayStation owning those systems and having exclusives, right? He was like, but when, when you heard that Microsoft bought them, everybody just looked at it kind of like sideways, like the fuck? And he's like, most of the people they bought lost value after they bought them. Look and at I Call of Duty, it's going down the drain. And I can't say he's yeah, wrong. To I, be I fair. can't say that he's wrong. To be fair with Call of Duty, it was going down the drain regardless. The thing it is, going but they're the they, they going to accelerate. They're going to accelerate it though. Bobby Kodak, I know that nigga's laughing every day he see the bullshit. All the way to the bank. Dog. He got to be, dog. This was the biggest finesse in history, no. dog. Hey, you Yo, he had his tinfoil hat moment, right? You guys remember before the Activision deal, no one understood why they were buying them because Activision was recording so much profits. Yeah. What if Bobby was like, hmm, I'm fed up of all this nonsense, but I want to leave. How can I get someone to get out? Microsoft isn't making us any profits at all. What if I threaten to remove Call of Duty if they don't pay us for the game. I can make a good money. And when they made that threat, Microsoft was like, ain't nobody on Xbox is gonna buy that shit. We are gonna just have to acquire them because exclusivity or paying for it isn't gonna make a difference. And when they said they're gonna buy, he just laughed and laughed and said, yep, I'm going home. 
that was the biggest robbery in history dog and as yeah. soon as that shit closed they got missing you don't hear from none of them you don't hear from lulu you don't oh. hear from bobby <laughs> they are gone dog they going with the wind boy <laughs> oh, wait, wait. i did hear from lulu she made um she made a new company with the profit she make the the thing i think i think i tagged you in it where she made a company that helps companies raise value or something like how to what was it a marketing company i think she made basically where she was like she would help companies raise their value through self-marketing and i was like she has the best portfolio ever she got microsoft to buy activision dog yo and she played the console war game bro she played the console war game with idiots with idiots who had no idea that they was being played. Come on, dog. You you gotta see. You got y'all gotta see the hilariousness in that dog. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. Nice. So what else happened? I'm pretty sure some other news done happened. What else happened? Uh actually, I, hold, I, on, I, I hold, can't on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before you do that, let me finish out this goddamn. Let me finish out this article that I was looking into. Uh, in previous generations, the chatter would have spelled doom for a platform. Just ask Nintendo about what happened to the GameCube and Wii U when publishers and retailers started to back away. The world is different now with digital downloading and direct to consumer distribution, making retail less powerful. While the market is no longer dependent on a handful of big publishers, even so, such scuttlebutts is hardly a vote of confidence. Considering its position and the overall lack of industry growth, it makes sense that Xbox would double down on the area it's well positioned to succeed in as a game developer and publisher. It's already got a lineup that is the envy of the, uh, of the industry. Call of Duty, Minecraft, Warcraft, Candy Crush, and an even larger slate of big brands beneath those. Amongst the GDC chatter was the understanding that there are a lot more games coming to PS5 beyond the four they announced in January. Here's the thing. Without reading this, did anybody else think that they were just gonna stop at four? Hey, we made money off those four games. That's it. We're done, guys. It's over. Nobody fucking thought that. Nigga, every game on the Xbox is gonna be coming to the fucking PlayStation, bro. It is what it is. And Xbox is one of the publishers that actually has some games coming out this year. Hellblade 2 Avowed and Indiana Jones may not hey. be the biggest games IP, but in a year lacking in major releases, hey. they all have a strong huh? chance to cut through. What's up? Think about it, right? Think about it, right? Remember they showed off Blade and they said it's in, it's in the early stages of development? Uh-huh. And they showed no platform for the game, right? None. They didn't even show Xbox uh, console. No platform. Right, right. Then they went and updated the trailer and put an Xbox Game Studio logo at the beginning, but still no platform, right? Mm -hmm. There's a reason they did this, and people keep saying, "Nah, they don't need to tell you it's coming to Xbox or what." To, I mean, that shit multiplayer. And you know, if you if you remember the Insomniac leaks, you could see that it said they needed to sell six million copies of um, either Spider Man or Wolverine to retain the license or whatever like that. Marvel's not giving them this IP so they can throw it on Game Pass and nobody's gonna buy it. They got to sell copies of this game. So I don't, I'm, I'm not surprised that any of this is going on now. Could you look at the signs have been there, right? You didn't even announce that this game is coming to your own platform. It don't even say game pass on the damn trailer. You know, they like to throw that everywhere. It, <laughs> that's not even on there. So you see what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not crazy, Emma. No, there was also they, um, the rumor they were scaling back Game Pass. That was also floated around that uh, they're pulling back from it and people were denying it. You know what I well, said? Well, they said these deals drying up. Game Pass deals drying up. You know what they, I said? They said the GDC, these Game Pass deals drying up. Nah, you know what I said a very, very long time ago, bro? I said Game Pass was only there to buy them time. Oh yeah, oh, that it was. was it. That was it. That was the yeah, pitch. It was the definitely Satya. there. It was yeah, yeah, it was the pitch that, that Phil gave to Satya to try to salvage something to keep this thing going. Because they said he wanted to shut it down. Yeah, so, he wanted to close uh Xbox from the jump. Yeah. It says 
I could I am very intrigued to see what Xbox's summer showcase event will be like in June. Could it be the first Xbox event that PlayStation and, and Nintendo fans should tune into? Nigga, we no. tune into that <laughs> shit anyway. Regardless <laughs> of where the fuck I mean, everybody knows where the fucking you know, where this shit is gonna end. But it is what it is. Releasing games on more platforms does place an even larger question mark over Xbox's hardware business. Spencer gave some hints about what to expect in his Polygon interview, even suggesting that the other digital game stores could sell via its platform. Could Xbox's future as hardware maker be in creating PCs that sit under the TV or in your hand, like Steam Deck or the Asus ROG Ally? Well, Asus, yeah. Or, going back a bit, the Steam machines. PlayStation won't be too concerned, but it's potentially compelling concept. No, it isn't. The Steam machine wasn't a compelling concept. This concept mm -hmm. isn't a compelling concept. All of this leads to Xbox not making money. None of this yep. says Xbox is going to bring in more money to continue funding hardware. Bro. None of this. None of it. None of it. You're thinking about putting Epic Game Store epic game store and steam on the xbox you get free games on the epic game store no subscription required mm -hmm. so people gonna turn on their xboxes to claim their epic games yo i have a stupid library on epic game store because they just give it away free games <laughs> dog this is the dumbest thing i've ever fucking heard dog <laughs> None of it makes sense. PS5, uh, PS5 sales are also slowing, and Sony has already admitted it doesn't have any big game brands launching this year to change that. The third-party slate for 2024 is also somewhat lacking in big games. Of course, you never know what might break through. Who would have predicted what? Power World or Hill Divers 2? This is an opinion piece, dog. This is not. Yes. This is not. Fact. That is an opinion I piece. This, I want to keep this within context. Uh, a PS5 Pro is expected to launch, which will help Sony's bottom line, but developers at GDC didn't seem particularly excited about it, and the audience for this is likely to be existing PS5 players. Yes. Yep. That's who you make a <laughs> PS5 Pro for, for PS5 Yo. players. What the fuck? Dog, this, this nigga sound crazy right now. Um... Uh, it's not something that will grow the market, which is a view we've heard from Take Two Strauzelnik and Circana's Matt Piscatella. Uh, 2025 looks more promising for consoles with GTA 6, Switch 2, and we even know about things like Monster Hunter and Pokemon. In many ways, we know more about 2025's big games than what's coming up in 2024, but that doesn't help the market now. Does a stuttering console space offer an opportunity for others? Could Valve see this as a chance to push the Steam Deck harder? Could Epic Games make some real headway with its Fortnite as a game platform vision? Could the VR industry now with the Apple involved attract some new players? Dude, people who buy the Apple VR headset are not buying that shit for games. I'm gonna nah, keep they're that buying that just as Apple. No, no, they're no, buying it because it's Apple. No, they're 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 buying it for production things. They're not buying it for video games. Uh, but also maybe this is a chance for likes of Netflix and Amazon to start really mixing things up. It's rare for non-endemics to come into games and achieve long-term success, but it can happen. After all, Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft were all non-endemics at one point. Microsoft has been trying to disrupt the games industry from within, but as we've seen many times down the years, from the first PlayStation to iPhone, the biggest disruptors can come from outside games entirely. Could this be their moment? Nope. Christopher Dring, <laughs> I'm gonna say, bro, some of your takes are ridiculous. Absolutely mm -hmm. absurd. But I respect it, man. Because he did state that it was an opinion piece, which most oh. people don't. They try to pawn it off as facts. Uh, but all right, I guess that's a done deal. Uh, what else? What else do you guys have? What do you? What oh no, I came late, so I don't know what you guys talked about so far. Well, what's been going on, bro? I've been out of the mix for a minute. I'm pretty sure you know no. something. No, no, no. I mean, like, I don't know the topic so far, so I don't know if I'll call something and then you guys talked about it already. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm just vibing right now, bro. 
let's see. There was the Hell Divers nonsense where they talked about bringing it to Xbox. Nah, we talked about that a long time. Who talked about bringing it to Xbox? Now with the stupidness where they were saying that, uh, I can't remember which article talked about it saying, uh, PlayStation gamers were begging to bring Hell Divers to Xbox so they yeah. would have more help. We, we yeah. were, we, no. That's bullshit. But anyway, yeah, next. Uh, I'm scrolling through my feet to see if I find something. IGN France saying that the uh, CEO of Shift Up has never seen a real woman in his life because Eve is over-sexualized. <laughs> and then people post pictures of his wife and she's basically hotter than Eve. <laughs> Hold on. But Hold on, let's stop for a second. <laughs> first of all, first of all, where do they get this notion that women aren't overly sexualized. Um, I think to this day, no matter what, uh, some of these uh, reviewers or uh, media personnel for gaming, I don't know where they just get the degree from, but whatever, so, media personnel for gaming, I think to this day, they still believe game is for kids. So, no, no, no. So let me ask you, let me ask you. Sexy Red, which is, uh, to me, she's a very disgusting I don't even know who that is. She's a female I'm rapper. I'm sorry. She's a female oh, rapper okay. that doesn't really rap, but whatever. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. Are you saying, are you saying that females don't look like her? Is that a, is that the, the girl who said something about brown yeah. What was it? Yep. Some oh, okay. Mm. I don't need to remember that. Yeah. Um I find it is it weird to like like when when gamers have games where we create custom characters, right? I mean talks that some people make weird ass characters or whatever. Right. Isn't the first go to even the reviewers I'm talking about, like even isn't the first go to to make a a real sexualized female character? What I don't like isn't that what they is, usually do? Everywhere you go, you see women like this. Why is it a problem when they're in the game? I don't know. It's right up there where guys are saying Eve looks like a kid, and I'm like, if you're watching Eve, and the first thing you think of is she looks like a kid, the problem's you, not Eve. You got some serious problems. What I don't understand, what I don't understand is. They act like every woman in the world is ugly. Microsoft said that. Or Microsoft did say no that. No women have bodies. They act like if you go My to the mall, that's correct. you ain't going to see motherfuckers <laughs> that look half naked, bro. Microsoft what, what did about? say they need to stop sexualizing women. And right on cue, this article came up. <laughs> What's up, it was only IGN. Uh, it was only IGN um, France that said that. It was only IGN France. You see this everywhere, bro. Everywhere. Oh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Not yeah. all women are built like benches, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 can, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe they're projecting the fact they can't get women like that, so they shouldn't see it in games or whatever. I, I don't know. It doesn't it's a, make it's sense. It's media, bro. dog. It's it's media. At the end of the day, whatever the media is, the media is like. It's like people were asking. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but uh, some guy went into the Discord for Hell Divers, the official Discord, and asked for them to have representation for the alphabet, and they banned him. And then a next person went and was like, "Good." They shouldn't ask for anything. No one wants to hear representation. Then they banned him too. Yeah. You know why like, you do that? Oh, no, I think we talked about that. Yeah. No, but you know why you do that? You do that because... Yeah, don't pick sides. Yeah. that That's the actual ability to be neutral. Mm-hmm. 
what they're saying is we don't want to hear the discussion one way or another. Mm-hmm. We don't want to see it one way or another. So, yeah, we don't care. Uh, but I, I don't I don't understand. I, I gave up on game journalism years ago. Yeah, but, but uh, I, I just don't know what they're trying to prove. I'm trying to understand I, where they're trying to get I at. I think it was just an attack. It was just like, a, like they sort of hype for the game and they were just picking for because the article literally news. yeah they literally said bayonetta is great um near automata is great and i'm like the the main character the protagonist the female protagonist for them mm-hmm. and they were like they're great but stellar blade is over sexualized i was like did you really say bayonetta wait so he never played his b2 i you can see you can see b2's draws forget b2 he literally said bayonetta is a better example of female of non-sexualized female i was like wait what really yeah let let me get that article man i had to find that exact quote because i don't want to misquote the guy but i know he said where is it right this oh, is shit, I did quote. say B2, then I... It's 2B. <laughs> yeah, it's 2B, yeah. All uh, uh, right. It's not new, and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters, but where Bayonetta stands out with uh, with an iconic character design or a 2B from Nier Automata inspires an entire generation of cosplayers. E from Stellar Blade is just bland, a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. That is the exact quote from the article. Bro, what's so bad about this is that I have seen way worse in real life than what they're showing on Stellar Blade. They call Eva sex doll. They motherfucking hate it. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And the article coincide when um Microsoft I think sent out a memo telling developers not to make a uh, not to make a female character sexualized or something like that. I I can't remember. I don't know if Link remembers what the quote Why? was, but it was something about uh not sexualizing female characters Why? going forward. Why? That was that was a quote from them, but I can't Link, Link is still there. You know, oh, he's gone. Yeah, I, I can't find it, but that that was a quote like Microsoft pushed out saying um not to sexualize female characters. Where is this? I'm trying to find it. Uh, where the hell is this shit? Uh, oh. piece of it. I guess you shouldn't walk in the malls at all, you know. And if you do go in a mall, you should tell those people that they're overly sexualized. Mm, pretty much. Why not? That's what you're saying already. Not you, but you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is it, right? Microsoft urges developers not to create female characters with over with exaggerated body proportions on the official site to, to support game devs. So it's not like it's a uh... <laughs> it, it's How not like they it, 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 it. I I don't know, man. That that's what they said. Yep. Right. Move away from this AMD. Is, uh, we live in a world. Quote, Microsoft urges developers not to create female characters with exaggerated body proportions. This is an inclusion action. Huh? Wait, what? Hmm? Hold on, I'm getting a link because you have to post it. It's too much to... I got you. Yeah. 
Hold on, I'm signing you right. on a... We got a quote from Digital Twitter. Foundry. Where PlayStation 5 could actually outperform Xbox or have right. higher quality ray tracing just does not yeah. compute to me. To Something has kind of gone wrong from that perspective. Especially when they, they you're, you're, you're using the same part supplier. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of crazy to me. Um, but but that is the, the reality that we're whatever. In. Yeah, I yeah. think there's some interesting uh, arguments to be moved, to be said about moving to there? Nvidia. I also do think that at least like Richard said, oh, yeah, they should yeah. probably move away from AMD. Yeah, that's right. When yeah. you it's, factor it's, in, yeah. you know, the fact that DLSS is so important, and obviously Sony has made that calculus now, right? Well, and it has decided yeah. to so invest in um, a... uh, machine learning acceleration. So yeah, interesting to, to sort of ponder where uh, Microsoft is going to go there. But yes, another AMD box with off the shelf AMD technologies um, may not be the best solution. And it's interesting, of course, that a lot of the stuff that's in RDNA 2 on um, Xbox, but not in PlayStation like VRS, uh, shader, sampler feedback, et cetera, et cetera, it's either not shifting the needle for Xbox or it's actually not very good at all. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you guys think? In order for Microsoft to fix their bugs, because they said that they're bugs, right? What's up, Lone Gamer? In order for Microsoft to fix their bugs, <laughs> They're going to have to um, go with NVIDIA. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that's what Digital Foundry said. Wait. Are they talking more like all their games on PC? If it, if it has bugs, you have to go to NVIDIA to fix it? No. No, 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 no. They're saying in order for Microsoft to catch up with where Sony is, they're going to have to ditch AMD and go to NVIDIA. How? Wait. What? <laughs> the... Hold on. I, I have to Google to see what game NVIDIA makes. No. I think you're hearing me wrong. No, I, I hear what you said. I'm, I'm just looking for what experience NVIDIA has that will help Microsoft DLSS. to fix bugs in games. That that's not gonna fix bugs. No, I was being facetious when I said that. You know, you know, everybody, I know you mean. every time something goes wrong, they call it a bug. Or every time they feel like it's not performing, they call it a bug. Except if it's Sony, because if it's Sony, we expected this on the PS5 consoles. It's performing as expected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you know what you know what pisses me off about the guys at Digital Foundry for PC guys they should know best that just having high spec hardware doesn't mean shit if it doesn't um they got to check what's the word I'm looking for yeah because if it doesn't work well we knew they got a check from when they first got the the inside video for the Xbox consoles because they announced they had partnership with Microsoft after that but it's it's just it's just insane as PC guys you know for a fact that just buying all the most expensive hardware isn't gonna make your stuff work the best you have to make sure everything actually works proper you gotta work if, make if it's sure not optimized yeah together that's what i'm thinking yep that's that's the worst of my head like if if you don't do that your pc's ass <laughs> it's it's common sense for anybody in pc it's especially if you're a pc gamer it's just it's just annoying like that's why i stopped listening to them because they to them sound so stupid because... man it's not that they're stupid, it's that they're being willfully ignorant. Well, that's even worse. At least a stupid person could learn. Right. Oh, Gearbox, who just got acquired by uh, Take-Two, they announced that uh, they're going to be laying off. 
<laughs> They're gonna be laying off some folks. Yo, that's a well, redundancy. It's, it's redundancy, yeah. But they're gonna do redundancy and fire people, and then right after that, a few months later, the exact positions they fired people for, they're gonna hire again. Oh well, you know you gotta do that so you can get them at a cheaper price. Mm-hmm. It, it's probably a bunch of senior people they're laying off. Why would I keep paying dumb. you a hundred thousand dollars when somebody fresh out of school they'll get paid sixty five or fifty five to do the same thing? Mm-hmm. Hire two people for the price of one. Yep. I was I was gonna say um. Uh, I mean, Sony fired people, don't get me wrong. And they did the exact same thing because I think uh, Santa Monica started back hiring and Naughty Dog too. But uh, are they the only people that buy people and then don't fire? Maybe Nintendo? No, I, I don't, can't remember the last time Nintendo bought anybody. But I, like, is that the only people that buy and don't fire people? Like go out of their way to don't fire the talent? Maybe. Oh wait, I got that notification. Right. Right. It's stupid. It's like uh it's like with Phil Spencer, everybody was defending the fact they fired so many people from Activision Blizzard. And and we were like, no, they fired them to look profitable for the financials. And they're like, no, no, they had to fire them redundancy. And Phil comes on and like, we fired them to be profitable. Hmm. Wait, he said that? Yeah, he did. He said it in an interview. Um, the one he did with VGC. Really? Uh, let me get the link for this. Uh, that's that's incredible if yeah. you did say that. Yeah, look at here. Inside gaming, um Phil Spencer says Activision Blizzard was um on part for Xbox needed to be profitable. Yep. I'm gonna send it to you on Twitter. Yeah, he came out he came out straight forward and said it. They had to be profitable, so they fired people. Yeah, but how profitable could they be by firing people? Did, I think they barely broke even. It was like what a billion on the financial. Like like, the losses from Xbox were so high. Someone had a chart of it, and it was like, just I have to find that too. It's uh, he says <clears throat> in an interview with Polygon, uh, Spencer talked about the lack of growth within the games industry as well as Xbox making sure its fans can get all the games they want when they're wherever they want it's a little bit of both uh spencer told polygon but i'll say the thing that he has most the thing that has me most concerned for the industry is the lack of growth when you have an industry that is projected to be smaller next year in terms of players and dollars and you get a lot of public publicly traded companies that are in the industry that have to show their investors growth because why else does somebody own a share of someone's stock if it's not if it's not going to grow the side of the business that then gets scrutinized is the cost side because if you're not going to grow the revenue side then the cost side uh, becomes challenged on top of the lack of growth spencer sees he mentioned xbox being a business first with (laughs) with that comes the need to answer the shareholders and executives that require the company to be profitable we're a business he said i've said over and over and over i don't get any luxury of not having to run a profitable growing business inside of microsoft and we are that today but just across the industry you mentioned it and in sitting here at the gdc i reflect on friends of mine in the industry that have been displaced and lost their jobs and how and how just i don't want this industry to be a place where people can't with confidence build a career so that's why i keep pivoting back to how does this industry get back to growth but to your question, for us as Xbox or any of the teams that are out there, it is really an outcome of an industry that's not growing. It can grow and it will grow again, but you see this time right now and the implications have human impact and we should all reflect on that and think about it. Lastly, Spencer discussed Xbox as a brand and getting games in front of players. He reiterated, he reiterated past notions that it's no longer about a single console connected to a TV for Xbox. 
The company's research has shown that younger people just don't view gaming like that due to technology and applications. He mentioned TikTok specifically. They have access to at all times. So for Xbox, our brand pivot as we attract and maintain relevance with a younger audience is Xbox is a place where I can find the great games I want to, he said. I don't really take from that article that they fired them to be profitable. But maybe. Anywho, <clears throat> I guess that wraps it up for us. I appreciate y'all coming through. Yep. I appreciate y'all sitting down. I appreciate appreciate y'all staying. Shit, it's been three over three hundred people here like the entire time. I I appreciate it. Um, and we'll definitely reconnect soon. <laughs> Anywho, man, yeah. hopefully y'all enjoyed the show and uh, have a great.